Hello friends, welcome back once again to Transport Fever 2. Having a whole lot more fun in the free play than we did in the campaign. I had a, a very nice stream on Saturday. I'm going to continue, see what we can get up to. Uh, currently is in 1993 in our, uh, I, not a town, it's a whole region here. But uh, stuff is looking pretty good. Hopefully all of you are having a fantastic uh, Monday evening or very early Tuesday morning. Let's see who's in here. Leviathan, Devilish, WM, Shadowgun. Good to see you. And uh, would that be Jens with, uh, with that last name, if I'm pronouncing that correctly? Uh, thank you very much. Welcome to the Beard Boosters. Appreciate the support. Good to see you here. So what we had done previously is we had uh, a whole bunch of this stuff set up. We've got this whole farm mess over here uh, trying to ship different grain products over to different towns to distribute. And we have town of Lakewood down here that has quite a bit of uh, stuff going on. I guess this technically could be considered our main city, uh, the way that we've been routing stuff in and out. But currently, we've maxed their uh, demand on tools. Uh, we're getting close on food and uh, fuel not quite yet. We've got some more work to do on that. Oh, no, I didn't send out a ping. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, I can't tab out. Or Okay, I guess I'll do it on the... Uh, I'll do it on my mobile app. That should be uh that should work okay. Yeah, a, a couple of people were a little I I don't want to say upset because it's it's rare that that actually happens, but a couple of people were shall we say slightly irritated that I did, I did not ping, but I will I will do that right now. At everyone. No, not okay. Somebody's name is very close to everyone. I don't want to ping that one person. I almost called this sweet transit. No. That is uh transit fever 2 stream now that might come across as aggressive because I capitalized now and used an exclamation point but I digress we are here we're having a fun time missed the start to do college adjacent activities okay well hope you had fun with those but yes uh, what we oh hey it's uh, growing before our eyes what we want to do is we want to find a way to get fuel in here and it seems to be an issue of not really uh, not really having our stuff go quite the way we want to see it here. But how quickly we forget we have a lot of fuel being made in the refinery and we have this uh, we have this train depot that is currently taking tools to Hartford and it's empty on the way back. So what we can do is we can have the train come right along right along the outside here. No real reason to build a third track but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll put this in here and then the uh, the fuel can come out and then get distributed where it needs to go. In fact, let's take a look at our land use. Yeah, industrial stuff is all right here. That's pretty much where the, uh, the fuel is going to be used. I am about 90% sure. So let's go ahead. We have we have so much money. We have $325 million. We're, uh, we're looking pretty good. Mm, yes, lag. Um... I don't want it to go into the same into the same deal. So let's let's just have this come right alongside. And we'll just follow this. We'll triple track this whole thing. Look at those beautiful catenary I guess you'd call these uh uh pylons or something like that. But we're getting this all set up. Hey Caitlin, hey <coughs> hey William, hey Thomas, good to see you all. Yeah, so all we have to do now is just hook this up here. Very nice, going into the station. And now what we can do is we can modify our route. Uh, let's see, this is Corona Crude to the port. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for Hartford Tool Supply. So that's Lakewood to the Hartford branch. I believe what we're going to do is... Okay, too few stations. Let's just pause that. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this go here, not tr oh, want track three, track three, and then up here to there. And this is all just single tracked up here, but that's fine. So that goes to Hartford Branch, and then it goes to Lakewood, and then it goes to Lakewood Transfer. I think I'm going to also have to have this be stop number four. There we go. Yeah, so in theory, if we've done this correctly, it will take 
uh, the tools up to Hartford. It'll be empty coming from Lakewood to or Lakewood transfer. I'm sorry to this, and then it'll take the tools up here. Then it'll get fuel once we have that set up, and bring it back down here, all the way here. So all I have to do is make sure that this uh, doesn't offload. Uh, okay, this might actually be kind of hard. Uh, I want this. To, oh, good. I don't have cars that can hold the fuel. Okay, we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to fix that. But for right now, that's probably fine. Let's find the train. We're gonna have to modify it wherever it is. Uh, it seems to be yes, this one right here. Manage the vehicle. Edit the vehicle. So right now it has six box cars. We want tank cars. That can only go 50 miles per hour. We want this tank car. So I think these aren't ever really full. Doesn't seem like that. So let's get rid of that one. And let's add three tank cars. Just set that right there. Seems like that's going to be fine. Well, it has nothing on there right now anyway. So that works out uh, just like so. And then... All we have to do now is we have our fuel refinery. We have our truck station here. We just need to have one to go from here to our train depot, which we probably should be uh, upgrading our streets to. Where's our country roads? Take us home, etc. Yeah, this is a, uh, a very windy road. Doesn't necessarily need to be that way, but it... Uh, but it is, so that's what we'll uh, we'll leave it as. Ah, yes, collision. Okay, well that's uh, that's fine. It is what it is. Uh, I don't think we're actually using much of that, but that's fine. Collision, collision, collision. We'll get that fixed. So medium country road is going to be going from say maybe here. I guess I could make this a curved road. No real reason to uh, to do it otherwise here. Is that going to be insanely stupid looking? Yeah, not really. That's fine. And this is mad because train 3 has no path. That shouldn't be an issue if we had our... Well, okay, we'll, we'll get back to that in a second. We got, we got to get this hooked up first. That's not the train station. I'm stupid. <laughs> That's the train depot. All right. Oh, now I got a bunch of people talking in chat. Let's see. Uh, barbecue, good to see you. Let's see, who else is here? All right, nobody else has joined, but it's good to see you guys. I'm just reading backlog of chat real quick. How many wheels of cheese are gifted and farmer wants a... Wait, what? Oh, I don't I don't have any idea what that is. TF2 have let you have a billion in the bank. Um, I don't know, but we'll probably find out. Yeah, all all I had to do was just build this road here. I don't know why I uh, don't know why I just defaulted to uh, going down the other thing. Anyway, this has to have a new line. We already have that going uh, for distribution purposes. But what I need for this is for that to go here to here. Okay, so Hartford Halt Line One. That's going to be Hartford, not Hartford. Hurt Ford fuel transfer. We'll call it rail. All right, so that it's going to need. Where's our road depot right here? Okay, so we can do uh, a large tanker truck. We have a Kenworth with a tank on the back. Uh, we'll buy two of those and set that for. There's so many lines. Hartford fuel transfer rail. Set that thing out right like so, and then we'll have to fix the train here in a second. But I just want to uh, split that up just a touch. I actually don't know if that's the truck that's going. It probably is. Yeah, that would be too convenient otherwise. Yeah, we'll let that guy make the turn, and then we will uh, flip this out. There we go. All right, so that solves that problem. Uh, do we have an angry train? Is that what this is? Yes. Okay, you are upsetty spaghetti, and why? So it is trying to go to Lakewood Transfer. 
or what? Okay, let's slow this right down here. Oh, Tupolev, the 757 clone. I think that's what the 204 is. Ah, yes, the Cascadia. Oh my god, there's so many Freightliners everywhere. Alright, this guy. This guy is trying to go to Lakewood Transfer, and he can't. Why? Manage vehicle. Line. Manage line. Okay, so this is... He's going to that platform. Okay, that's what it's supposed to be. Going up here, which is fine. Goes to Hartford Branch. And then... So what's it upset about? Maybe it's just mad because it couldn't find the, uh, the route that it wanted to earlier. Well, there's nothing on it, so I'll tell you what. Let's just um, make this one go away, and we'll build a new one. <laughs> That's how you solve all your problems, right? Oh, hey, Devilish. Five gift memberships. Thanks very much, friend. Uh, Shania A, Caitlin WM, Hallow, and Gorznet. Welcome back to the Beard Boosters. I think maybe there's one or two new names in there. But uh, appreciate you giving those folks access to early videos. Called her Thomas because she loved trains. <laughs> <laughs> the cultural impact of Thomas the Tank Engine cannot be overstated. It is astounding. All right, let's get the Dash 8. Definitely not the CSX uh, Phase 2 livery on that one. Definitely not. Um, so we have... I think this is just the only only boxcar we can do. Let's do um, let's, let's do just four of these. Probably fine. Not those types of trains. Oh, all right, okay, all right. You got me there. Twenty million bucks to have our new train. That's going to go on the tool supply, which it should not have any issue with. Let's ride the train. It's going to be obscenely loud. I don't know how to do a height adjustment on this. One of these keys has to do height adjustment, right? Aha! It's Z. Okay. All right. I'm tired of listening to this be like two miles per hour. Let's. Uh, can I can I adjust the time scale? No. Doesn't seem like I can. Well, that's fine. Okay, good. If I get further away from the engine, the sound becomes more bearable. You can still hear the horn. That's what that's what matters. <laughs> now, as long as we can load everything, and we do have fuel here, which is nice. As long as we can load everything in one go, it looks like we have just enough platform space. All right, so that is loaded right up. The fuel is full. Yeah, and it took all of it. Nice. So now that is going to go all the way back down, but I am not going to wait for this. On single time speed, we'll come back to uh, we'll come back to this. We just watch this go right on its merry way. Yeah, the key bindings in this game are kind of strange, but this is a cool view going up like this. Shane, good to see you. Choo choo, indeed. I have created one of the ugliest possible. Uh, train track routes through here. But hey, it's triple tracked and it's electrified. Take that, U.S. Rail. Well, I guess there is. there are a couple places in the U.S. where we have triple or quadruple tracked uh, electrified rail stuff. But now we have some tools going over to Lakewood. How does the engine magically flip to the front? Sometimes it's best not to ask questions. We, we, <laughs> we just have to suspend disbelief. Yes, it is science. All right, so unload the fuel and the tools, and now Lakewood's got fuel, and now we can go back. And there's still some tools left over, which I believe means we're going to pick up some more here and take them up to Hartford. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens when we get up to all this, what they pick up, what they don't. Yep, picked up more tools. Custom-built engine flippinator 3000. You got that right. So since we uh, since we built this third track, I actually don't think the second one is being used. 
uh, going between Lakewood and uh, I guess the uh, the port up here. So I'm not entirely sure. No, it's not the port. It's the uh, the sawmill. Not entirely sure what to do with that. We could split that second track off and have that be for passengers. We'll see what happens. But now, I think we're going to end up with more fuel being brought to this station than the train can actually hold. 54 out of 54. Okay. So I guess each of those cars can hold 18. Is that how that works? We'll check and see. Yeah, they got, they got fuel or oil or something on that barge. The absolute value of negative X. Yes. I do remember that much from math. But not much more. Yeah, that train going in there, I think, should still be operating. I don't see it, though. We'll have to take a look and see if we... Uh... Oh, no, there it is. Okay, cool. We definitely want that guy to do that. All right, so it's not going to be able to offload anything, but it will onload tools. Only 31, because I think that's only what is being demanded. And there's the other train. Okay, cool. So that is working. That is working just fine. Yes, trains with rockets would be super awesome. <laughs> that would be a whole lot of fun. All right. So as long as this is offloading correctly, it looks like it is. Cool. So I think we can leave this alone for now. Oh, right back to the train again. What is Road Vehicle 41? I do not know what Road Vehicle 41 is. So let's check out our vehicle statistics. Condition, very bad. Train 1, 53 years old. Oh, that's right, because we, we replaced the steam engine with the SD40. Okay, 41 is the bus, 33 years old. So why don't we just go ahead and replace... These are, what, GM fishbowls? Let's replace these. Uh, okay, 37 miles an hour, 56 miles per hour for the new Flyer D40. Ooh, okay. Maz. Belarus. Okay. All right, you get fancy new fun buses. I guess we could uh, we could make some more investments in our vehicle condition. We got these two uh, got these two other fishbowl buses here. Uh, let's replace those. Everybody gets a new bus. Why not? We got the money. More very bad conditions. This is... Oh, those ancient, ancient trucks. Ancient trucks. So that is a... It's a flatbed truck. We need to have... Probably not these giant ones. Uh, oh, yeah, the Russian... Why is that available in the U.S. map? The, the Russian trucks. They're not going to be buying that. That's too big. Uh, we don't want the little... We don't want the little K-trucks as cute as those are. Uh, but tar the tarpaulin truck, we'll, we'll get it. So let's do, uh, replace all those. Alright, what else, what else is very bad? These guys, oh, those are so old. The farm trucks, that has a, uh, dump truck, okay. What other, what other dump type trucks? This guy, the man, we'll do that. Replace those. Okay, now we got these ancient trolleys that aren't actually, oh, somebody's riding it, really? Are you serious? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. All right. I don't have any little trolleys, but I do have I do have this thing, so uh, we'll just replace those. Why not? All right. Um, this is bad. All these Peterbilt 359s. Well, that's that really only matters for emissions, and those aren't going into a town. I don't think that's just farm farm stuff. Uh, this needs to be replaced. Okay, so that is the SD40 and then five boxcars. Well, we can fix that. Dash eight, and then five boxcars. Problem solved. I love how the engine is a slightly different sound. That's nice, even if it doesn't have to be. Hipsters would pay good money to ride. You better believe it. There are people that chase chase down different buses just to go ride on them. Five bucks is a little expensive for a bus ride in a properly functioning economy. Okay, so we have fuel here. So that means Lakewood should be... Yeah, it's not being distributed. So, oh, you know what? 
because this route um oh what is this called i call this the tool tool drop off can i can i like click on this yeah this has to have um i need vehicles i need to put some tank tank trucks on this um i'm going to replace the i know we j we literally just did this but uh, tank truck. I don't know this giant one for in-town deliveries. Uh, we'll do that, and then I will clone that twice. That should work fine. So hopefully we'll get more uh, we'll get more fuel put in here, and then uh, Lakewood will continue to grow, and we can keep putting more and more of our uh, more and more of our tools here. So that's all looking pretty good. Now uh, we got our inner city bus here. Intercity, not inner city. Uh, going up to Corona. That's our road, and then it comes up through here, turns this way, turns that way. I think that's probably okay. Maybe not the best place to put this, but it is pretty much in range of most of the city, so that's probably fine. Uh, we have a huge backlog of, yeah, for the uh, for the actual processing to occur transport needs to go up so what's uh, what's going on with that I don't know why transports at 61% someone probably told me what this meant before but uh, 737 700 yep that did come out in 98 definitely not the Delta Airlines paint scheme I kind of wish they would have just put you know, actual real-life paint schemes on. I, licensing would have been a nightmare, I'm sure. But that would have been cool. Yeah, this transport percentage, we got to find a way to get that up. How much for a Delta plate? Well, we don't have any airplanes yet, but I was thinking about doing it. We just have to figure out who wants to go where. Yeah, so um, we do have people in Hartford obviously doing... Uh, Hartford things, but they don't want to go anywhere else. I don't know if that's because they don't know they can. Oh, people are actually uh, wanting to go to Fremont. Did I, did I set up buses to go between? Oh, no, but there is a road between. Okay, well, you know what we can do? Um, We can just go ahead and upgrade the road between the towns. And we can start a little bit of bus service. Make some good use of that. Yeah, because we haven't done anything pretty much over here. Uh, do I even have a? Uh... No, I don't. Oh, we've got a we got a gear factory that needs planks and steel beams. But we're not going to mess with that. Yeah, this isn't connected physically to any of the rest of this. It's completely isolated. And we were thinking about maybe doing the um, uh, the tools to go up to here as well. Had an airplane. What would you paint on it? I don't know. I always liked the um, I always liked the United Airlines paint scheme from the '80s. The the tricolor. I think it was orange, blue, and it might have had a. I forget what the third color was, but I always thought that looked really nice. Attach a giant beard up front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would that would be that would be pretty funny. I built the train on the stream Discord message. Oh, you sure did. Sheesh. Wow, you got a lot of custom train emojis in here. There's the default one. What's this one called? Cookie One. Why is it called Cookie One? Steam Locomotive. Cookie Tender. Hopper. Boxcar. Are you in a train Discord or something? Hopper Car. Log Car. Tank Car. Boxcar Two. Caboose One. And then the default steam locomotive. Very nice. That's a good train. Let's go ahead and get our uh, let's get our little bus route set up here. We're gonna need to have a road depot, which I will just pop in right here. Rotate ever so slightly. Make that line up. Okay, bus station. Uh, is that going to be anywhere close to being in good walking range? For half of the city, yes. If I put this here, that's going to be most... If I put it downtown, that's going to be almost everything, but it's going to take away a lot of our... Uh, 
lot of our buildings here. Okay, so what if I, uh, what if I just did this? No, nope, I wanted to go the other way. I can't see. I got my, got my cup of water right here. Slightly in the way. All right, that's, uh, five buildings will be removed. Three buildings, two buildings. There we go. That's our bus terminal. Let's go ahead and, uh, Passenger platform's already there. We already knew that. That's fine. Passenger building. Do I have... I can't put that there. I guess if I can fit... No, nope, that's not going to work. Small passenger buildings. Collision. No. Collision. No. Collision. No. Collision. No. I guess it doesn't want me to do any of that. That's fine. We'll end up... Uh, we'll end up just doing this, I guess. So I will uh, rebuild two of those. And we'll just uh, have to see how this works. Nice long platforms. Then we have to do the same thing over here in Fremont. Find ourselves a nice in-town location, preferably off the main road. Here seems like it's probably going to be good. Is this uh, correctly aligned? Not quite. Just get this going like that. And then that side is going to connect to that. That's going to connect to that. I think if we go on the north side, uh, we're going to get more of the houses, which is probably what we want. All right, that seems to be pretty good here. There we go. And now before things get too crazy, uh, let's put ourselves a... Uh, come on. There we go. Let's pop that there. And we'll extend our doohickeys right here. And then we'll street access right on that side. So they can go in and out no matter what. All right, so now we have to have a line here. Uh, where'd my labels go? Orlando? Yes. I don't know why it calls it Orlando Halt, but that seems to be what it wants me to call it. Uh, let's call this... I did a dump. Let's fix that. Fremont bus. bus. All right. Is this even going to work at all? Can can you hear me? Can you see anything? The stream health thing is just going wild. But it, it does say it's sending. It says it's sending something. It should be going. I don't know how to stay sending stuff. Okay, you can hear me. Yeah, but it says it the, the number of dropped frames continues to increase, though. So I don't know... I don't know what's going on with this. I really don't. It's extremely frustrating. Now it's up to 6,000, and then it crashed to zero. Now it's up to 5,200. Now it's 466. 3,000. Man, come on. We're trying to have, we're trying to have a nice time here in the thing just decides it wants to die. That's very inconsiderate. Like, I don't even know I don't even know how to fix it. I really don't. Okay, you can hear me. Uh so aggravating. Alright. Well, it seems to be kind of working. I just don't understand what's going on with this. Like it shouldn't have any shouldn't be having any issues doing this. Do not know. Do not know what's going on. Because the stream preview window isn't showing us motivated. How do I motivate it? Well, it's never gonna be over right here. There you go. Definitely not a ripoff of Wiener Schnitzel. But it says it's sending six thousand kilobits per second. 
So it should, it should, in theory, be working on YouTube. If it's time to build a computer, then I am, uh, well, family-friendly terms, up a creek. Because <laughs> I cannot afford to buy one right now. But I think, I think it's working. Okay, the preview window is showing working. Multiple vehicles, that's very bad, way. So I, I guess it's, uh, I guess it's back. Let's check our, uh, wow, the bus is actually almost full. Okay, nice. So it seems people actually want to ride the bus. Very impressive. I did not think it was going to be actually that utilized. There's people waiting to ride the bus? All right. Very cool. So I guess the problem was OBS was throwing a fit because it wanted to be updated despite nothing actually needing to be changed. Very annoying. But now we are... Uh, now we're back. Now that 90% of the people that were watching the stream went to go do something else because it wasn't working. Thanks, OBS. I really appreciate it. But uh, now we know the bus is going. Well, I built this computer in 2020. And for the most part, it's fine. I put a new processor in earlier this year. And that's helped a lot. But I still have the same graphics card I did in 2020. That's going to be the really, really expensive, annoying thing to upgrade. When the time comes for it. But, uh, yeah, we have our people going to Fremont. That's looking good. They don't want to go anywhere else, though. So we solved that problem. Let's see. McKinney. Anyone going to McKinney? No. Well, they want to go to Memphis, I guess. Because the road's connected. Uh, Memphis, which, by the way, is looking pretty okay on food and fuel. Uh, we could be getting uh, a little bit more in the way of fuel and food distribution. This would probably be a good candidate for a train to have the uh, the food processing plant, but the uh, the landscape is not exactly uh, not exactly great. No, I did not upgrade the motherboard. We don't need to. That's like the the least often upgraded component in a computer in a computer is the motherboard. If it, if it works, there's literally no reason to replace it. Unless it has the inability to do something that you absolutely have to do. So I I mean when I build a new computer it's gonna be a new motherboard anyway just because this chipset isn't made anymore. The uh, the AM4 socket, whatever. They're they're about to be on the AM5. They're not gonna have any new processors on this one. What would need so that's the problem is I don't need an up this computer works perfectly fine for what I'm doing. 95% of what I try to do, the computer has no problem doing it. The only issue that I am gonna run into is I get people asking more and more for me to upload videos in 1440 and 4K, which this computer absolutely cannot do. It can't do 4K. It can't play games at 4K, it can't render them and all that. 1440p maybe because that's the uh, the monitor that I have right now is a 1440p monitor but I would be concerned that if I recorded at that resolution and then also exported the videos it would not uh, not want to play very nice yeah Timberborn doesn't need 4k you are absolutely correct on that so this has this has fuel here oh you know what that's probably what part of the problem is. We don't have storage at our, uh, our what do you call it? All right, so that's what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll put in some storage buildings. Why not? Yeah, I really should have done this a lot sooner. Now they can actually store stuff. Yeah, 60 FPS is good enough for me. And I get, when I'm playing Timberborn, unless it's like later on in the series, I usually get over 100, which is great. But here's the thing. YouTube doesn't let you have videos over 60 FPS unless you have some sort of crazy, like a 8K whatever. 
Like it's 1080p 60 is the maximum resolution and frame rate it will let somebody view without having premium. I'm pretty sure at this point. Oh, this is already full again. Why? Okay, why do I have crude oil going here? I should not have any crude oil being stored here. Absolutely should not have any crude oil being stored here. That should all be up here to be exported at the port. It has storage for it. So why... These, these people should not be moving crude oil down here. Not at all. Should be no, no reason for that. Unless they want me to be making chemicals with it. And why is there... Why is there crude oil in this? Stop it. I don't... You idiots. I don't want any crude oil stored here. There's probably a... Uh, probably a way for me to uh, tell them not to do that nicely. But I don't know what that would be. See, I just... Uh, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, 4K... This, the, the resources to do 4K is just completely insane. Like, one frame of 1080p video. I think I, someone actually made a comment about this in a video, and I, I went and I did the math. Like, a frame of 1080p video is, like, slightly over 2 million pixels uh, per frame. 1440p is, like, 36, 3.6 million pixels per frame. 4K is over 8 million pixels per frame. It's, it's literally 4K. It's four times this amount of pixels per frame. So every single frame, your computer has to do four times as much work. And if you have 60 frames per second, that's 60 times a second, your computer has to do four times as much work as it would at 1080p for a marginal marginal benefit at best for most games. Swap trucks out so it can't take oil. Um, I guess that probably would make sense. But now the problem we're gonna, the problem we're going to get into is our Corona Farm trunk line. No, I, I don't want it. I don't know how to do, play this game. Uh, farm trunk line. This this line has all these Peterbilt trucks. They need to be replaced. The problem is they carry any type of cargo. This, like the if I replaced it with Cascadia's, carry any type of cargo. There is not a truck. The tipper truck, I guess, could carry grain, but it can't carry the bread. Actually, how many? I have 12 vehicles for this? Okay, that would work fine, because that's just the, uh, it's taking the grain to the processing plant. Let's do that. So now that can only carry, it can only carry the grain. And then uh, that then gets turned into the food here. But that doesn't solve my problem of actually having the fuel here. So what I want to know is how to stop it from just accepting this period point blank. In your routes, you can be set what's permitted to be dropped. Oh, really? Okay. Um. Okay. All right, I should have uh, should have done that a long time ago. But it's it's still going to be here. It's still got to be removed. Okay, Corona food supply. Uh, I guess I can just load all of this. So they can, uh, they can just, whatever. So maybe it's, oh, I bet because there's extra space here. It's, um, that's why it's doing that. Alright, so what I will do is this will literally only be only be taking food. Unload everything, only take food. It shouldn't be taking anything at the branch anyway. I should have I wish I would have known about this a lot sooner. But let's um let's just unload all this. Or not unload, hit un unload all of this. Except the food. Yeah. I don't know if that means this is gonna go away, but um I guess that's fine. Okay, so what else? Is that the Costa Mesa farm? This one? Yeah. Okay, so that needs to... Well, if it's taking that other type of truck... Stop that. Oh, you stupid... Alright. Clearly, I... Uh, oh, Genesis P42. Nice. 
Uh, where is... There we go. Wait, did I just have this go to the same... I hate this game. This breaks my brain so bad. Come on. All right. So Costa Mesa West. It should only be loading. God, stop. I wish this was a toggle and not just a do it. All right. Uh, I guess that's fine. I did not know it was going to be that big of a pain to uh, get this accomplished. All right. Um, which one of these is this Memphis food supply? Yeah, okay. So at Corona Halt, you don't want to be able to unload anything that is not food. But we can load it so we can go back to Memphis. We don't want to load anything that is not food related. So I don't know if this is ever going to make its way out of here, but I hope it does. I can't believe that's something I had not done before. We need to upgrade this road. Yeah, this is kind of a... Uh, kind of an ugly road. I think if I just made it straight, though, it probably wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be that good. Medium Country Road. So they can go a little bit faster on these. That was at 50 miles per hour. That needs to be upgraded. Some of these probably should be large roads, honestly, but uh, for right now, I think this works fine. All right. So eventually, why does this say it has more? Come on, man. I thought we'd solve this problem. Like, uh, okay, Lakewood food supply. That Okay, that's probably what the problem is. I don't want to unload anything that is not food at the Lakewood food supply. That's probably exactly what's happening here. All right, lower Lakewood. Do not load anything that is not food. I feel like it should be defaulted to nothing and you have to pick. Alright. So that was Costa Mesa Corona Food Supply. I think I think this should fix itself. Hopefully. Okay, so this has fuel and stuff waiting here. But this still is only supplying 41%. Why? Is that because this is just stuck here? Is like is that what's uh is that what's going on here? So I guess we have to wait for the tank truck to come in. Maybe I just need to have more tank trucks. See, this isn't loading. It's not loading fuel. But it's supposed to be dropping stuff off. Alright, so that's the tools drop off. These three. Oh, I already forgot how to do this. No, I want to be in the route thing. Uh, tools drop off. Yeah, like, it, it should, it should be taking stuff. I guess it's, uh, come on, let me click on this. Click, click, click. That one's full. I wonder why it, uh, why it didn't do that. All right. That's slowly getting better. Food is slowly getting better. Uh, the bricks, construction materials, uh, probably actually not that hard to build over here. This is very close to Orlando. So, I know they want that. That's fine. Oh, God. Fremont wants... They, they want fuel now. But the, the quarry is all the way over here. That's going to be the thing that is kind of a pain as to getting, getting that there. Items are on the other platform. What do you mean they're on the other platform? No, this, this is... Uh, it can use both. I guess that is... Um, Wait, why does food supply... Oh, okay, because this is... Okay. This is being brought over from the terminal that the food is happening at. That's fine. 
That's fine, because that was coming from up here. This still has to get all of the, uh, all the fuel removed. Oh, no, I can't because, <laughs> because I replaced this with trucks. I replaced it with trucks that can't carry fuel. The, uh, the Lakewood fuel supply. Food supply, I'm sorry. This cannot carry the fuel, so the fuel is stuck here. So I need to, um, I need to add a, <laughs> I need to add a tank truck to this route so I can take this stuff away. I think that's what the problem is. Oh, what a mess. I don't know why it even did this. That's such a pain. Okay, and that's iron ore. We don't care about that. All right, road depot. Buy me a tanker truck, Cascadia. I'm going to attach this to Lakewood Food Supply. Cut. Oh, get out of here, F1. Yeah, I need that. I need that tank truck to come up here. Yeah, you see right here. Wait, why is this? Oh, that's in rough, rough shape. Why is that still on the Lakewood Food Supply route? I thought we'd. Uh... Oh no, the Lakewood Food Supply route still has uh, the old trucks. I I got too much stuff going on. I can't I can't keep track of this. Um, Lakewood Food Supply. Yeah, it's got these um. These ancient trucks. Ancient trucks. So that needs to be loading at Corona Hall anything. Unloading at Lower Lakewood anything. So it should, it should, once the tank truck gets up here, load up all of this uh, fuel in the crude oil and whisk it away. Then we can get rid of it. But it is, it's clogging everything. But we probably do want to replace those trucks anyhow. They're very crusty, very old. Well, my issue isn't that the vehicles can haul... Well, the issue is that the vehicles can haul everything. I don't want them to. I want the stations not to accept anything unless I tell them to. Alright, so now... Okay. Now the tank truck is going to load up... It better load up. Okay, it took some of the crude oil. It's going to drop that off in Lakewood, which probably doesn't need the crude oil, but I'd rather have that in Lakewood than in the food storage area. Because then what can happen is the train can take the uh, the crude oil up to uh, Hartford. And those are connected. That will end up being fine. So we'll let that do what it needs to do. Uh, do I have a quarry anywhere near here at all? Because that's what this uh, is for making uh, construction materials. None of these are quarries. Yeah, how am I supposed to make a uh, construction materials without a quarry? I probably only have the one. And that's going to be in some really inconvenient location, I'm sure. Okay, there's a quarry up here. That is not close. So we've got this guy, and we have this construction materials plant. All right, country roads. I don't need to upgrade that. Not at this exact moment in time. Streetcars, huh? Take a blimp. Yeah, there you go. That's going to go well. Let's, um, at the quarry. As close as we can get. I guess this is going to be about as close as I can go. Yeah, we'll build a truck station here. And then we'll load up the construction materials at the quarry. And then we'll come over here. And we'll unload those there, and then they have to go into Orlando for the uh, the builder stuff. But that can just be a truck unload stop. They all want bricks on this side of the town. I guess that will work. Not going to fit there, huh? That'll work fine there. So that's going to be 
our line to go here to here. That's going to be called, uh, let's call this Orlando Quarry Supply. And then we'll have a line go from here to here. And that's going to be Orlando Building Material Supply. There we go. All right, so now we just have to have vehicles to do this. Um, we can upgrade the roads later. Oh, but since we're here, since we're here, building material supply. Um, yes, let's not, at Orlando South, let's not, well, I guess we don't need to load anything. Let's just not unload anything that is not, uh, no, I want that. Nothing that is not what needs to actually go in there. Oh, you can't load anything here anyway. Perfect. That works just fine. I think that's going to be nice. So now I want quarry supply. Fremont East, let's not load anything except building materials. That's what we need. I guess we could do that too. Let's not unload anything except building materials. I wish this was defaulted to off so I didn't have to click all of these. That would be very nice. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. And until we have to have something else go in here, it's not going to be a problem. All right. Now I got to come in here with our road depot. And we need trucks that can carry. I guess all cargo is probably fine. Harperland truck. Got these little tiny gas trucks. Let's build materials that will hold. Oh, look at that ferry. That's kind of cool. Hold 35. Hold 30. Mm, we'll just do uh, buy five of these. This one can go on the... What did I, What was this thing even called? Quarry Supply. No, I am always, always going to welcome people who understand the game telling me how the game works. That is always fine. Set that one on the uh, building material supply route. And then this last one can go on uh, quarry supply. So probably not spaced out super fantastically, but uh, it is connected. And now we have our building materials piled up here. Trucks loading up. I think we're going to be looking pretty good there. Orlando should now, very soon, start getting construction materials supplied. And then we have to get the tools up here as well. That's going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting process. Because we have the train here that's dropping stuff off. This has a lot of fuel. There should not be any fuel being dropped off in Hartford. It should only be being picked up. I am assuming... Okay, it is picking up. Very nice. Okay, I think we're fine here. BS Vlog, welcome back to the Beard Boosters, courtesy of Drexos. Appreciate you. Alright, it seems like this is going... Pretty well. Oh, hey, we're up over 600 million. Whoever said, hey, can the game do a billion? Well, we're going to find out. We are going to find out. This is uh, pretty much maxed out. Look how awful these trucks look, man. That's foul. Um, let's take a look at our condition very good, condition very bad. Okay, these are the old, uh, the old Kenworths. 
Oh no, those are the Peterbilts. I'm sorry. That can hold 30. The steak truck is pretty much the only thing we need for that. Let's let's replace those with steak trucks for the woods. Now what what line is that? Hartford Wood 3. Okay, so this this one is going to have to be the uh, steak trucks as well. Hartford Wood 1 steak trucks. There we go. That actually makes sense. That's something they'd want to see. Yep, they got logs clipping in and out of each other. That's a-okay. Gonna build on the middle island? Um, probably not, because there's nothing there except the forests that are already maxed out. They pretty much can't do anything else unless the uh, shipments get uh, maybe optimized a little better. But I don't think that's gonna be that big of a problem. Just make a little bit more space for them to do their thing. Not going to be that big of a deal. Yeah, I want to do I want to do airplanes, but people have to have somewhere to go. They have to actually want to go to other places. Right now, they they want to go to Corona which is up here and it's connected and we already have the bus. Costa Mesa. Is that really connected here? Okay, yeah, it's over there. Transport fee is assigned 64-bit integer for money so it would flow at 2 to the 63rd power. Well, that's, uh... I don't know how big of a number that is, but it's probably very large. Okay. So we have to go around, I guess, and look at where people want to go. Corona, Costa Mesa, Memphis, Lakewood. See, the demand just isn't there, and I'm, I'm not sure you want to... Uh, I'm not sure you want to mess with that. I don't know how the game calculates induced demand or whatever, but if we were to build uh, airports, then I think that would end up being... Uh, but we have 600-some million dollars. All right, is it back? I don't know why it does that. It should be working. Now it shows 6,500 kilobits. This game is nonsense. Well, it's, that's really YouTube's fault and OBS. But we finally have the truck that can take our fuel. Actually, hold on. Before, before this gets here, before this gets here, let's be smart. Uh, what's this called? Corona port truck drop off. We only want to take fuel, not crude. Only want to take fuel. Although I guess if we wanted to be real nasty with it, we could get building materials, but I'm not worried about that. Let's do that. Just only load this and only unload, well, everything. So that's fine. So this has, why does it say logs? This should only be, this should have fuel come in here. Unless I didn't have this, I say I don't even, I don't even know how I have this stuff set up. So crude to the port, unless there's not enough crude being produced to load on the barge. 
That's honestly probably what it is. The transport still cannot go high enough. What year is it in game? 2011. We seem to be playing two games. Transport Fever 2 and Network Fever 2. Yep, sounds about right. So this is completely full of everything from the refineries or to go to the refineries. It can't upgrade because the transport can't get high enough. But I thought we'd already uh, already been exporting enough. That's connected directly. It should not be an issue, so I don't know. Ah, now it's upgrading. There we go. There we go. Just stay, stay at that 80% or higher. Yeah, because we definitely we want this to upgrade so we can start making more at one time. Do we have planes? Not yet. I was trying to think about how to do that. Like where it should go. Ah, now it's upgraded. Very good. Because I don't know, like Hartford right here. People don't want to go anywhere else, but they're also, they don't really have the option to. So I'd kind of be tempted to do like an airport in Lakewood and then um, I'd go somewhere on the other side of the map. Oh, I could do uh, I could do Lakewood to Orlando and drop off the tools that way. That would probably actually work uh, pretty well. So let's build an airport. Passenger airfield, cargo airfield, airfield. I think we can do, I think we can do some small ones. All right. And the, the terraforming in this game is pretty nutso. I know for, uh, for airfields, you're going to want to have a lot of, uh, a lot of empty space. Terminals, three terminals. Really? You can build three terminals at once. Okay. Oh, that's just how many planes can park at one time. You can you can go back and build later. All right. So this, if I were to put, well, this first of all, you would you would never do it like this. You would never air, airport greenfield site would never be this close to the town. It would not be that close to the uh, that well anything honestly. But if I can get it close enough to uh, to this train station, then I'm not going to have to worry about it. So if I did. I did like say right here. I th think I think that's going to be fine. We can just uh we can just pretend it's okay. Oh, there's traffic. Look at this. We got traffic coming into town now. Can I um can I upgrade the streets? Medium streets, large streets. Ah, uh, but see, that's not going to work with my other stuff here. So I guess the uh, the traffic is just going to be the traffic. So what we might want to do is make these residents super mad by building a uh, a connection to uh, <laughs> to the outside of town right here. Call it a bypass. Get funding that way. So now, if they want to go this way, they can. Not have to come through this one tiny little bit. I don't know that anyone's going to actually take that road, though. No nature preserves. This is a transportation game. Can I, uh... Oh, I can. I can delete the trees for, uh... For more airplane realism. Too bad I can't, uh... Look and drag on this. Alright, so that works. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so this is a cargo airport. We need to have an airport in... Uh, I guess we'll do Orlando. we got space up here. And then, of course, we can expand it later to be... Uh, whatever, but we're just going to do small aircraft. We don't need the giant ones here. So let's turn this. We'll build an approach road and all that fun stuff. Ah, yes, the CS three hundred. It still causes the Bombardier. It's not. It's not an Airbus. It's not an Airbus. 
even though Airbus bought the rights to it. Just bought out the whole program. Uh, medium Street. I guess we'll just have that go right like so. For town motto... Oh, if you can demolish buildings, they'll rebuild. Just be careful of deleting the last of a specific domain building because they're very slow to remake. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, Orlando, let's, um... Wait, hold on. Does Lakewood want building materials? That would be such a power play. Yes, they do. We can... Oh, we... Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Alright, let's buy some crappy cargo planes. Oh, this is the only one we have for small stuff. Okay. I don't think we're going to get... We're. It's. This is recent enough where I don't think we're going to get any new planes. We just have these little tiny Sherpa planes. Can I, um... Can I upgrade this to larger things or no? Okay. So this will do passenger stuff. So passenger terminal. I guess it's not going to let me build on this side. Yeah, we'll be all right. We'll just build a... Stop it. Click stop. Thank you. So this can carry cargo and passengers. It's the only airplane we can do. Okay. Let's do, um, let's buy two of these. Have a route between. Nope, nope. New line. Register my clicks. Thank you. Lakewood Airport and Orlando Airport. That's a weird flight path. Why would it, uh. That is a steep climb out. <laughs> that is, that is incredibly steep climb out. Okay. Use demolish tactics to move buildings demanding to an area for efficient deliveries. Okay, well, that sounds like a power play. Let's call that air exchange. So then what I want to do, go to this. Lakewood is going to load, I believe, only tools. For right now, can load only tools, unload anything. That's how we'll control it. And at Orlando, we'll only load uh, building materials. Let's try that. All right, so this has to go there. All right, let's let's fly with the plane, shall we? <laughs> the horn for the airplane is just the uh, the cabin intercom. <laughs> That's pretty good. This is cool. Hey, James. Thanks for the gift membership to Murpheus. Much appreciated. All right, so this plane can go how fast? Almost 300? Yeah, it's probably slowing down for approach here. So right now it's only carrying passengers, but there's no uh, there's no way for the passengers to get there. So we might have to uh, set up some other transit. But if the people want to fly, they can fly. Just so you have to add more names to the credits. I'm running out of space, man. It's going to be hard. All right, so this plane's done. We'll, uh, we'll get everything else set up so we can have uh, the passengers and the cargo flowing efficiently. But it is, in fact, good to go. Okay, this that sounds like a, a Chinese name. Jifeng J6P. Yeah. All right, so this Orlando Airport. Okay, so I have no, no storage here. Let's, um, let's see. Do I want a truck station, bus tram station, or do I just want an unload stop? I think, I think it probably has to be a, a proper truck station at the airport. All right, so that, that will work there. Truck station for the purpose of loading and unloading. So what we'll do... Orlando building material supplies being dropped off of there. 
it's going to also need to go here. Oh, so I guess north is right currently. Okay, the issue with the issue with the end credits is not that I can't fit it. It's that when you do that in Adobe Premiere, the way that I have it with the thing crawling, it has to render each frame of that separately. And it takes sometimes 20 minutes, which might not seem like a lot, but if, if you're familiar with how long it takes me to actually export videos, probably 85% of the video export time is because of the beard booster recognition uh, bit. Because there's, in that wall of text, there's approximately 4,300 characters. And it's, uh, it has to redraw that every single frame when I'm rendering the video. And that's a, it's a disaster. It takes so long. And the, uh, the YouTube description has a maximum of 5,000 characters. So there's going to become a point where I can't put the names in the description anymore. And that's going to be interesting to, uh, interesting to figure out. Is this already set to, uh... Okay, well, I guess it's fine if it's only loading. Well, it's loading everything there, but that's the only thing that's being, uh... Brought there. Okay, so the, the problem with the custom end credit video is that it changes every single video. So that would be a gargantuan additional amount of stuff to do. So I don't, I don't know, I gotta I got figure out a way to solve it, though. Bus stops. Let's do... Let's do one there, one here, one here, and then, oh, I should have a, is that on, what side of the street is that on that side? Okay, that's fine. So I will just make a new, new street. Do I, do I dare do a, uh, yes, let's do that. That'll be fine. All right, so now I have the Orlando, uh, Airport Express, I guess we can call it. There we go. That's a very, very deep brown. Call it the airport shuttle. So that can be... Oh, I keep missing all sorts of stuff. Devilish, thanks for the five. Appreciate you. And uh, Dragon as well. Well, not for money, but for encouragement. Why not have it as a PNG? Why not have it as a PNG? You know what? I hadn't thought about that. That's probably that's probably a much easier way to do it. Yeah, I got a 2070 super. Uh, a typical hour-long video without that credits thing put in there can export in about ten minutes by itself. If if you put the uh, if you put the credits thing in, I've had it before take almost an hour to render the video. I don't know why. Whenever, whenever it just does that, it just for whatever reason, just is that way. That's cool. Oh, that's a streetcar. <clears throat> All right, 19, 18, 13, 16. Yeah, send him to the send him to the airport on a sixty year old school bus. No. Uh, let's just do two of these. I can go on the Orlando Airport shuttle route. And then we'll send the next one later. Carrier pigeons. <laughs> yeah. That's uh that's the way she goes. We are still making so much money, it's insane. Alright, let's send that back airport shuttle again. Alright, so now Orlando's got a little bit of a uh little bit of a deal. The tools, once we have everything hooked up correctly, should start uh, should start flowing here. I don't think anyone's going to be going to the airport to get on the plane because I don't have a passenger terminal. I maybe should have built one of those. But now, now it actually has a passenger terminal, so we should see people start to get on the bus to go to the airport. But I don't have the passenger route enabled, so let's, um, Orlando Air Exchange. Do I have passengers turned on for this, or no, maybe it has to be a completely separate, maybe it has to be a completely separate one. Uh, I can't get a 5000 series video card because I would have to build a new computer. I would have to have a more powerful graphics 
armor graphics card, duh. More powerful power supply, and I would have to have a newer motherboard that has the, uh, the, uh, I can't listen to this airport announcement thing, uh, has the more PCI Express lanes to take proper advantage of it. So this needs to be uh, given a passenger terminal. There we go. So I guess it's probably not going to just load passengers indiscriminately. Oh, this isn't even connected. Yikes. Um, that's what I was going to uh, try and do. Was to get this shamelessly connected to the uh, the train station here. Yeah, let's just uh, try that one real quick on for size. Now. <laughs> okay, alright. I knew it was too good to be true. But the bus station's in range. That will work. No, anything that I... any and Under U.S. tax code, anything that I purchase with business funds for the purpose of doing business is tax deductible 100%. It gets complicated when it's also something you use personally for entertainment. So when I filed, well, I haven't filed this year yet, but when I file my taxes, because I use uh, my camera equipment for business purposes and self-employment, but not 100%, I have to do, uh, I forget what the exact term is for it, but there's a specific type of asset depreciation uh, that I can do since I'm claiming it as a tax-deductible business asset. I have to use it for at least a certain amount of percentage of the time for business purposes. Right now it's about 100%, but in the past it was 75 80%. So I can only deduct that percentage of whatever that year's percentage of depreciation is as a quote-unquote loss on my taxes. It's It's complicated. Thanks for being here, James. Appreciate you being here. Hopefully you're uh, healing up nicely. My eyes should be tax deductible. I mean, glasses are expensive and I gotta buy new ones. But that comes out of my HSA, which uh, contributions to that are, I believe, post-tax on income, so I don't have to pay taxes. I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Okay. So I, uh, oh, I didn't send this other airplane out. So I guess what I have to do now is wait for this to land in Orlando. And while that plane is here on the ground in Orlando, I can send this one the other way. Because I want, I want them to be more or less 100% offset from each other. So we'll just wait for this other plane to come in. What blew up on the bottom left? I don't know. That's why I'm super... Oh, okay. I missed, I missed context. It's those old business with designing and building computers. I mean, hey, if you use it for business purposes, then you, you're good to go. You, you're the one that gets to decide what that is, but you have to be able to prove it if you get audited. So playing, uh, playing games, so to speak, not always a smart idea. Thanks for being here, Barbecue. Yeah, I thought about getting into doing, uh, doing like PC building for people and PC repair, and then it, no, because <laughs> what happens? What happens is anytime, no matter no matter what's wrong with the computer, if you ever looked at it in the past, it's automatically your fault, no matter what it is. It's like, well, it's fine until you looked at it. It's like, no. You're just, you just have no understanding of how this works, so you assume I broke your computer because I was the last one to attempt to fix it. If you're playing a game, aren't you just trying it out to see it? Well, okay, well, that's the thing, too, because I can, because I make money making videos and streaming on games, I can deduct the purchase of games if I stream with them or make videos. Superman, thanks for the five. Appreciate you. Good to see you here. Can chat be claimed as dependence? <laughs> I don't think so. Some of some of you, I would probably have to pay. You'd probably be able to claim me as a dependent. <laughs> some of you uh, send a whole bunch of gift memberships and stuff. Devilish. But um, uh, I need to see. 
Oh, the plane's gone. Okay. I was going to try and see if people were actually uh, on here. Okay, so that says empty. Nobody on there, but it's supposed to be taking cargo. Which you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't think would be a problem. Okay, so this plane has nothing on it. And it doesn't really have any mechanism to load anything. So let's see what happens. I don't expect anyone to get on this because there's no... Uh... Yeah, it's completely empty. Alright, i got to figure out how to get stuff here. So this is going to have to be a truck station. Oh, uh, I, I tried to rotate with the wrong thing again. So that actually, actually right here, depending on how I wanted to hook this up, could be, could be connected. Nope, nope, stop that. <laughs> that's, that's funny that it does that. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, let's just pop that in. Like so. So now the train station's connected to this. Now, oh, oh, hold on. I need to go blind selecting all this. I, I want to see what is. There we go. That's connected there. How do I connect? There was some sort of way for me to do. Uh, no, not highway ramps. Some sort of way for me to connect all of this. To, there we go. So now, okay, that's still not connected to this, but this is connected to this. This is connected here. So what I need to do is I need to move this stuff to here because then this is connected to this. New work, new, uh, new route won't start till it's completed. One complete route. Okay. But it still hasn't, uh, still hasn't done anything. Okay, so liquid food supply needs to go instead of lower Lakewood. It needs to have a station at Lakewood Branch, and then lower Lakewood goes away. So then this can eventually be retired. And this has um, Corona Halt. Un or, wait, hold on. Corona Halt is unloading food at the... Wait, hold on. Oh, no, that's, that's right. This is supposed to only be loading... Wait, this is loading nothing. This is just unloading for the food supply. Yeah, that's what that's what we want. We want to just turn this completely off. Pardon me while I attempt to um, know how everything works. That has to go here, which means Lower Lakewood goes away. Can I can I reorder these? I don't think it matters. Um. But liquid branch load should pretty much only be... Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter because this is just a drop-off only. That's fine. Yes, this is a fun game. This is so much better live. If you drive your car to buy stuff for your business, you can claim it. Okay, so it's different in different areas, but... It depends on how you're set up. You can, you can deduct mileage, or you can deduct gas cost, or you can deduct a certain amount. Well, I guess the mileage would cover uh, everything for the vehicle. The IRS allows you to deduct, what's it, 65 cents a mile for qualified business trips. You can deduct 65 cents per mile, but you have to keep logs, and you have to have odometer readings and all this other stuff. If you want to deduct an entire vehicle, it has to be a specific size. Again, this is all U.S. tax code stuff. But that's why you see a lot of people with the Mercedes, the G-Wagon, is the stupid American way to pronounce it, G-Wagen, whatever the German one is. But it has to be over 6,000 pounds curb weight to qualify as a specific tax, the specific tax deduction for a business vehicle. I don't I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it must be over 6,000 pounds curb weight. So that's why you'll see people will buy the giant trucks for 
a job that does not require a giant truck because they get a much better tax write-off for it. And they can depreciate it certain ways and this and that and the other. Versus, say, if you are, like, your job is, I don't know, you're a, you're a traveling somebody salesman or whatever. You don't need any kind of car to do that, to hold any specific amount of cargo. You just have to get your body from point A to point B. But if you buy the thing that has the 6,000-pound curb weight, then you can deduct it as this something-something business vehicle, and then all of a sudden, okay, now I got this giant truck that cost me hundred and some thousand dollars, but it's tax deductible, so I can have the business pay for it and write it off as a whatever. So yeah, I'm not going to be writing off any vehicle expenses anytime soon. I can assure you of that. But this, this gets to go away. And now everything goes here, which means it also goes to the airport. So it should have, in theory, the ability to uh, put our tools up here at the airport. And I, I guess I should um, should have taken a look at the uh, stuff here. Yeah, loading tools, loading bricks. So this again should be should be all here. I guess I need to reconfigure the uh, the tool supply tool drop off. I'm sorry. Uh, Pine Street, unload anything, load anything that comes in here. I don't know if it's going to play nice with us or not, but we'll see what happens. Okay, when, when you get so far into it that you're talking about deducting like personal grooming expenses hire an accountant don't try to do that yourself absolutely do not try to do it yourself I am not a financial advisor tax professional etc whatever none of this is legal advice but I promise you if you're trying to nickel and dime the system that much do not do your taxes yourself Yeah, you can, I mean, the tax system is in the United States, specifically set up, allegedly, to cultivate business. And especially people doing, going into business for themselves, small business, self-employment, whatever. It's very friendly to that if you follow the rules. If you try to exploit it and you get caught, the IRS is going to bury you. That's how they got Al Capone. Not for any of the other stuff he did, for tax evasion. Limit for teachers is like 300 bucks for classroom supplies. Yeah, that's a whole different thing. You know, could possibly tread in dangerous political opinion territory for me saying I don't think teachers should ever have to buy their own school supplies. And that, that should be the, the school system takes care of that. But I don't know. Not everybody agrees. But it just always it bothers me knowing how little teachers get paid and they still have to buy all their own stuff. But yes, always always paint if, if you are self-employed or you own a business always pay someone to do your taxes who is a licensed tax professional one they're going to help you find ways to save money on your taxes two it shields you from legal liability to a certain extent because that is someone who is licensed by the government to do all that kind of stuff and if they make a mistake they have to fix it and it's not somebody coming to break your kneecaps at three in the morning also, yes, claim your illegal activities so the IRS does not hunt you down. They don't care how you make your money. They just want to get paid. All right. So now we have we have bricks here because I think the planes are bringing bricks. I don't see any storage here, but I guess that's because it's all going here. But yeah, we have bricks coming in. That's coming in from Orlando, so I think our uh, our trade is looking good. Uh, we got to get our passenger situation set up a little bit better. And this needs to have uh, cargo storage. So I think, uh, in the interest of future proofing, I'm going to add some additional platforms here and then put a couple of these storage things there. All 
All right, so this plane has eight, eight out of 12 bricks. I just found 12 bricks. Very, very obscure meme. All right, so it's gonna load up on tools or no tools. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's gonna load up on tools. That's fine, maybe there's not enough demand for it. But I wanna see if we can get some, uh, some passenger planes going. Maybe that's something I have to make a specific line just for that. So let's uh, let's do that. Passenger terminal to the passenger terminal. We'll call this Lakewood Orlando Air Packs. But nobody is uh, nobody's taken the bus to the airport because they probably didn't know they could. So let's um, let's set up a bus route over here. Bus tram stop right in front of the airport. That is already there. I could just have that go to the same bus stop. I don't need to worry about it. Um, but I guess... I guess I could just have this go... Uh, go around the outside, as it were. Oh, and that doesn't connect there, of course. Well, that's fine. So let's make a new line from the airport to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. We'll call this Lakewood Airport Shuttle. And then we will uh, grab ourselves a couple new buses. E Sitaro, huh? 17 passengers, 43 miles an hour. Um, let's do a couple Mazes here. All right, Lakewood. Lakewood Airport Shuttle. And then one more. Hopefully we get some passengers flying between Lakewood and Orlando and do some demand. Yeah, forcing a route from one corner of the map to the other. That's what I'm going to try to do at some point, eventually. We gotta get there first. Gotta induce some demand. This train, train, this airplane has 12 bricks. Avilia Liberty, yeah. That definitely entered service in 2021 and it is not still waiting to enter service in 2024. So unload the bricks and it's not gonna load, not gonna load any tools, huh? So I figured it would, I figured it would have done that. Oh, I didn't. I didn't buy an airplane. I didn't buy an airplane to go on the uh, the passenger route. Oops. Let's uh, let's do that, and then we'll uh, we'll go over here, and when it lands, we'll send the other airplane. <laughs> that's that's pretty bad. Anyone have any hot tips for recovering a crate that went under the map and satisfactory? Um, good luck. I truly do not know if it can be recovered. If, if you can see the marker, like if you can see the marker on your, your mini-map or your um, compass or whatever, then technically it's still there. If you don't, it's gone. All right, so as soon as this airplane lands, if that is the correct one here, that's the cargo, okay. That's not what we want. I need, um, oh. Okay, well, I guess I can just pause whenever the next airplane lands here. And then we can just go back over there. Waiting to pick up bricks. It's picked up bricks. You might, yeah, you might be able to get under the map with the trains. There is no crate. Oh, you're not Marina. Someone is at the airport bus station. But will they actually... Get on the uh, get on the airplane. Okay, so you can see the marker. Um, you could probably build a train to get there, but yeah, when you go under there, you take damage and die. If because that would be oh, someone's waiting to get on the plane. Nice. Um, if you can't physically get your body there, you're not going to get it back. That's very annoying though. If the crate is still there, because it's always going to be there. 
if the uh, the thing still shows up on the minimap. I don't know what to tell you. That that absolutely sucks. That plane is clipping through trees. All right. So is that the is that the uh, passenger one? No. So that is on air exchange. That's not the passenger exchange, though. So where's this other airplane that supposedly is going on the uh, the air packs exchange? Oh, that's probably this guy. Yeah. Okay. So now I can come back over here to the Lakewood Airport, and then I can come back into this thing. Then I can send this out. There we go. T taking off just like that. Right click your character and click update position. You talking about in satisfactory? Now you're going to copy into notepad or something the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Oh, you're gonna do some. You're gonna do some devious stuff with this, aren't you? Okay, how are we doing on bricks? Looking good. Um, so our route, our air exchange route, can use some additional, uh, some additional, I said trains, airplanes. So we'll buy two more of those. Now find your crate and do the same, but paste the coordinates for your character in the XYZ for the crate. Now next, uh, load up the map. There'll be a download button. Download the modified save. And then, okay, this is that's outside my wheelhouse. Satisfactory. Co oh, okay. So you're you're modifying the save data of. Okay, okay. I see what's going on. You're, you're just changing the location of the crate. Hey beans. Teleport the lost items to your feet. That is convenient. Talking about satisfactory lore, I guess. So now we have we got some people queuing up for the airplane here. Nice. It's it's me calling it lore as a joke. Uh, Marina here is asking how to get to a crate underneath the map with uh, stuff when uh, a character died. And I guess it's either Dark Dragon, DRK Dragon. I don't know exactly what the uh, preferred pronunciation is. It's given instructions on how to fix that. Which, I actually don't know if, uh, Beans, if you had known how to do that. I was going to try to ask you, but then you showed up. So that's convenient. Yep, now we're actually, uh, we're actually kind of getting somewhere. I do wish I had more than ju the one just tiny prop plane. I, I, I mean, I did build the tiny airport, so that, that is what it is what it is. But I guess... I guess what I could do... Is that actually full? Wow. I guess... I guess we'll just double our... Uh, double our airplanes. We've got four airplanes on the passenger, four airplanes on the cargo route. Let's see if we can actually get some people moving. We're getting somewhere. We're making progress. Dark Dragon, gotcha. Yeah, we got lots of tools here. I don't know why it's not carrying tools it really because it, it should be it should be carrying the tools so if I do air exchange I do have it set to load tools it's the only thing I have set to load is tools and I know Orlando wants tools they've wanted it for a long time but they don't have any of it oh is that because I don't have a yeah I, okay I don't have a way for the uh I don't think I ever made a, uh, a thing here. Orlando building material supply. Nope, I don't have one to drop off the the, uh, the tools. That's exactly what's happened. So I guess I have to have another line to go here. We'll call this Orlando tool drop off. YouTube keeps defaulting higher picture quality to 40p. Why? That's stupid. That's very stupid. All right, we need a truck. Urban e-truck? 
IES electric trucks. Well, that's, that's the good use case for them. But I guess, yeah, why not? Why not? We'll have the, we'll have the five hundred thousand dollar electric truck. Put this on the Orlando uh, uh, tool drop off. So that hopefully, are there people on this or bricks? Okay, they got their bricks. So I guess we'll wait for the uh, wait for the next plane to land that may or may not have anything uh, on it. Yeah, earlier in the stream, we had a very bad time trying to get the uh, stream to just even stay up at all. Huge pain in the butt. All right, so we got a plane coming in. What's on the plane? 12 people. Nice. So I wonder... I know I, know I can't upgrade... I can't upgrade the airport itself to a bigger airport. I I feel like I really uh feel like I really should have built the bigger airport the first time, but uh it is what it is. Maybe I can just drag drop replace. I think oh, look at this terraforming over here that will happen with that though. That is abominable. <laughs> That's awful. Uh what if what if I moved back here? That might actually... I mean, it's going to take off basically into a mountain, which is not ideal. But we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. So if I pause, and then I build that one right there, uh, I think I can add multiple runways. Landing direction left or right. Oh, that's actually convenient. I didn't know it did that. All right, Orlando Airport. You're about to get un orlando We're going to put a giant giant airport in. The big one. Oh, it has to connect to the uh, actual terminal building. Okay. So we did that. So then the takeoff is basically into a hill here. That's not ideal. Let's uh, make this a little bit bigger. Oh no, I don't want that. Yeah, I need, I just I need this to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a run up over here, so it can climb out. I think the the planes in this game take off, climb out really fast anyway. So, but just want to make sure they have a little bit a uh, little bit more uh, space to do what they got to do here. I just didn't want it to take off directly into a cliff face, because that's garbage. If you delete something and replace it, it's close to the old one. It can grandfather the old routes. Okay, I see... Um, okay, that's not it. Um, yeah, air exchange, air packs. Yeah, it kept it. Oh, it couldn't connect all stations. Um... What's what's up with that? Try to fix problem automatically. No. Okay. But it is it is connected. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. I don't have uh I need to I need to upgrade this to have a passenger terminal. Because it didn't have one. Now it does. Now it should be able to connect all the routes. I believe. Okay, air packs, that works. Air exchange, that works. Cool. Leaves the tree at the end of the... <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we need to get rid of that. <laughs> okay, the tree's gone. The tree can't hurt you or your airplane anymore. It's, it's okay. It's going to be fine. <laughs> that that tree is structural. Yeah, okay. We're 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 good. <laughs> we're good. Alright. But the fun thing about that is now look at all these look at all these airplanes we got. We got tons of airplanes. We got what is that? Oh yeah, we got we got all these bad boys. The Bombardier, definitely not an A two twenty. We got the I guess that's Russian, yeah. 
I don't, I, I don't think any Western airlines are going to be buying it, but that's cool. Q400, absolute piece of garbage airplane. Um, 737-700. I'm surprised I don't have a Max on here. Maybe the, the jokes write themselves. The lone gunman tree. <laughs> you got jokes, all right. Okay, now this is going to get interesting uh, when it comes to this other airport. Because, you know, actually... Okay, there's real-life airports that are worse. I can, I can promise you that. Let's get rid of that. Put in the big ol' airport. Oh my god, this thing's huge. A collision. Yes, it is, in fact, collisioning with the train depot, which we can easily move. Get rid of they get rid of that garbage. Now let's rebuild the train depot. And just uh pop that guy right about here. As long as that doesn't mess our speeds up. I don't think it matters. I'll just put that there. Now I got room to put the big old airport in. Rotate. Okay, so that will fit there. That's about as close as that's going to be able to get. All right, what's our... Oh, okay. Leaving. They got plenty of room to climb out. This tree probably should go away. Now on this end, however... Oh, yeah. This is the, uh, <laughs> this is the stuff you got to watch out for. Yeah, get rid of get rid of all these trees here. Super low approach angles. We'll see if it uh the way that the way that this comes in, they might actually descend over the mountain, which would be really funny. Uh, there's a couple airports in real life that are like this. Now, for those of you who have been around a while, long enough uh, to remember when Hong Kong's airport was at Kai Tak, and they had uh, they had that approach that was basically a couple hundred feet over the tops of buildings in Hong Kong. And you, can, you can look up all sorts of crazy landing videos uh, from that airport. It's just nutso. Eh, this is probably fine like this. So now I have to modify the airport with the passenger terminal. And that should auto-connect the lines. And I believe... I believe we'll be good. Uh, it, it connected the... Uh, connected the line... Okay, I, I have to have the stupid sound turned off every time I click on this. Uh, Airpax has to go to... Uh, Lakewood Airport. It's got to be connected to that, which hopefully there we go. So that should all be uh, should all be working, I believe. We just still have those tiny airplanes, but what we can do, uh, air exchange for vehicles. I guess I could just um, uh, go. Yes, manage vehicles. Probably an easier way to do this, but we need to replace these. Hello, Josh. Pro tip, you can encourage, quote-unquote, town's growth by pre-laying roads to get them to grow and facilitate... Ooh, I didn't even think about that. All right, so our cargo planes. We've got... Uh, 757s are good cargo planes. Little tiny... Uh, <laughs> Hercules. That's not that big of a plane. All right, so that will hold... <laughs> the future is now, old man. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's so funny. Remember seeing videos of people in Hong Kong looking straight out the windows at a 747 flying by? Yep, exactly. It's so wild. And I think that airport closed in, what, the 90s? But, oh, look up those videos if you have a second. It's just, it's amazing. 
Let's do 757s in definitely not Amazon Prime Air slash UPS livery. 93 million. <laughs> that's expensive. But that's fine. Air packs. Uh, stick the people on the uh, regular 757 or uh, do we want to put them on newer airplanes? Well, I like the 757. It's a good plane. Boeing never should have stopped making them. But they did. Oh, no, we got we got planes intersecting. Okay, never mind. We're good. So this is loaded up with absolutely nothing. Wait, hold on. Can it not carry... Can it not carry all the stuff? Did I do a stupid here? I think I might have. I did not even check to see which airplanes could carry what. Cargo. No, all cargo. Okay, we're good. I was about to say it would be really stupid if the planes had a... Uh, <laughs> A restriction of what kind of cargo they could carry. Alright, so this is another cargo plane. We should see. I want to see how these I want to see how these guys land. What kind of a uh, what kind of an approach path? Oh, that guy came through the mountaintop. That's kind of concerning. We'll see if this other plane just comes out of there too. Yeah, it, it definitely phases through the mountain and the trees right there. There is maintenance. Trees are there so they can slow down faster. Alright, let's um let's take some trees out. Not that the game really cares. Not in my backyard. Reach an emission value of eighty in a town and free game. I guess that's a uh, noise. Oh yeah, that's a that's a big old yikes right there. So I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, let's um, because <laughs> I I know we can. Let's lower the mountaintop. Let's see if that helps at all. She just goes right through the trees. This goes right through the trees. <laughs> Oh, man. I know you can put waypoints for routes, but I kind of don't want to mess with that. Also, it's really funny. All right. I was hoping to pause a little earlier, but I need to... Uh... Well, I don't need to. It just makes more sense. Yeah, come up here and do incredible amounts of earth moving just so your planes don't crash. The real airport would not have done that in the first place. All right, I guess I can have this going. I just don't want to look at planes clipping through the mountain. Gives me tailspin vibes where they flip the plane sideways to fit through them. That was a great show. I mean, realistically, it probably wasn't actually that good. We just have fond memories of it. All right, so that is where this comes through. Let's just uh, make ourselves a little bit of a uh, little bit of a trench here for the planes. This is so absurd. So completely stupid. We'll just make this look a little bit nicer. But now I can I can delete the trees. Or at least a couple trees. There have never been consequences to massively changing the terrain in an area. You are correct. It's perfectly fine. All right. So the plane should be coming pretty much right through here, I think. So here comes this one. Yeah, it's, it's still hitting a couple trees. Is this the best way to be spending my time? Objectively, no. <laughs> but it is funny. All right, how how close how close to these trees are they getting? <laughs> this is so dumb. All right, so you know if that's right there, you're gonna need to have 
this much space at the very least. All right. We have a couple more trees here. I can just imagine, like, somebody who's, like, used to, like, coming up here hiking in this this area is like, oh, I wonder where all these trees are taken out, and then five seconds later, a giant plane just zooms by overhead. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's, like, intersecting into the bottom of the plane. Yeah, gotta be able to clear the landing here. Yeah, Boeing's got some, uh, they got some work to do. 757 never did that. Alright, <laughs> this is so absurd. <laughs> That this is even this is even a thing you can do. It's just completely ridiculous. Well, it works. The plane's not gonna not gonna hit the ground, not gonna hit the trees. The trees will they they seriously are gonna regrow? Okay. Alright. So if that's the case, we will in fact lower lower the land. What happened to the mountain? Oh, they lowered it so the planes didn't hit it. When in reality, the planes would just have a, a different adjusted approach path. They they wouldn't they wouldn't descend until they were further. It brings a new meaning to landing strip. Ha, ha, ha. All right, let's let's see more planes come through here. How how good our clearance is now? Okay, here comes one. All right. Could be worse. Could be substantially worse. That one's got some bricks. It's got three cargo compartments is why it has those three different uh, things in there. Is this a passenger one? Yes, it is. 34 people? 50. Nice. The plane's full. Love to see that. That means it's being used. Reminds me of the I need help budgeting meme. Yes. What what, what is it like? Uh, like housing, five hundred dollars. Food, two hundred dollars. Um, some incredibly specific, super unnecessary thing. Eighteen million dollars. Please help me budget. My family is starving. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good meme. So we should see Lakewood now start to kind of explode in uh, population here. People are going to uh, Orlando. They're going to Fremont. By way of Orlando, I guess. Taking the bus. Costa Mesa is, I guess, technically accessible by road. Memphis and Orlando. Okay, cool. Well, I think we can consider this to be a success. Terra conforming. I didn't even see it. <laughs> Sorry. This game does not let me move my mouse over to the um, the chat, so I can't scroll up. So that is... Oh, wow, this is full. Wait, the people have names? Oh, no. Oh, they're, they're so mad. All right, the um, uh, Lakewood Airport Shuttle. How many... How many buses are on the airport shuttle? Okay, I just need to clone those. Because they're very, very full. Okay, nothing stored. Okay, well that works at least. The planes are actually pretty uh, reasonably spread apart. Looks good. 
Now what kind of configuration can I do for the airport here? A second runaway, wait. Oh. Why can I not... Oh, because there's a, there's a road in the way. Are we even using this road? Probably not, actually. The tool factory is basically only connected. Why is there... Why is there crude oil here? We don't need crude oil here. Anyway, all this to say, uh, we don't need this road. This road does not need to exist. Because now everything is moving by train. So what I will do is I will... Well, we, we're going to keep the road anyway, because we, you know, always kind of want to do that. But what I will do instead is I will just have this go around... No, 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 don't do not do anything crazy, just go straight. And we'll just reroute this around so we can have another runway if we want it. It's not the most beautiful of a solution, but it, uh... It does, in fact, work. So there we go. Now this other road can go away. Now we have extra space that we probably don't need, but we're going to have anyway. So now, if I configure the airport... I can put another runway here, and then I'm assuming it's going to let me do a third to do that, but uh, approach lights work, and then I'm assuming that's a taxiway. I'm not going to build a second runway because we don't need it, but I guess I thought there would be more to this. I guess I should check and see how full... Okay, not full leaving, that's fine. Clone twice for six on the route. I'm assuming you're talking about the buses. Okay. Uh, let's let's do that. Two more buses. All right. How's Orlando looking here? So we've actually got some people waiting here. That plane is not full. Cargo-wise, it's not filling up. This plane is half full coming from Lakewood. Okay. Need another runway. I don't think we do. I don't know how many runways it actually lets you do. It's still... There's no tools. I thought I solved this problem. Tool drop-off. Did I... I assigned a truck to this. Yeah, it's this electric truck. So why does this think it has... Why does this think it's getting crude oil? It shouldn't be getting crude oil. Or is that just a placeholder? Did I... Did I set this up wrong? Orlando tool drop-off. Orlando North load anything. Yeah, it should just be tools. And then drop off anything. Orlando Airport... Uh, I guess I need to do the... Uh called Lakewood Orlando Air Exchange. Unload anything. Load only tools. It's not loading any tools. This also doesn't have any bricks on it. So does that mean we can't we're not making enough bricks? Is that what the uh Okay no that's not it. This truck is going where? Okay that's taking it from the quarry. All right, let's uh, let's expand this a little bit. I guess I'll put in a couple cargo buildings, hold some stuff. Find something very funny about transporting bricks by plane? Yeah, it kind of is, objectively. Uh, building material supply. Oh, do I really only have one truck on that line? Okay, well that's um. That's going to get cloned immediately. That's probably what half the problem is. We don't have enough uh, 
You know what? Forget it. Four. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have four of those. Why not? Quarry supply has four trucks. That is a long route. Guess what? Eight trucks. <laughs> that ought to that ought to help. Oh, this is not uh not exactly ideal here, huh? There we go. Yeah, I think we were we were choking it out with uh, the incredible capacity of our beautiful airplanes. But they're still they're not bringing tools up here, so what's up with that? I guess we have to go back down to Lakewood and see what's up. Okay, because we this is like absolutely backing up, so this is not going to the airport. Am I going to have to have this specifically drop it off at the airport? Like, I feel like that's not... I feel like that's not the case. But why don't we... Uh, why don't we just move this out here anyway? I doubt that's going to fix it, but might as well have it fronting the entire uh, the entire thing. Question about one of the future Beaverbergs. Could we bring back a randomization factor like we did the... That would have to be a live stream thing, I think. Because it's, it's more fun to have that uh, in real time. But I do want to do another series like that. That was a lot of fun. Maybe we do need a second runway for this one. I don't know. It seems like they're... Uh... Yeah, they're coming in quite frequently. The randomization factor, that I think that was before your time. I, I did a map that uh, was basically designed to fill like a bowl with water. This is before bad water. This was... This might have, I might have started in update 3. It gives you an idea how long ago this was. I finished it in update 4. But they um, they had designed this map. This is a, a, a user a long time ago made this. To where the water could only exit this one tiny channel on the side of the map. Uh, you actually could just go watch the videos if you wanted to. I'm not going to make you do that though because it was... Oh, I don't know. 20-some hours of stuff to get through it. But... Uh, I called it Drowned Mode, or whatever. Drowned Nightmare Mode, I think is what it was. And uh, the whole object was try to engineer the uh, water exit before the map fills up and makes it impossible to grow any food or grow any trees. So we spent a whole lot of time blowing stuff up for the water to exit the map and uh, draining stuff. But the thing that I did to make it the Nightmare Mode was every cycle I would roll a virtual die, a d6, and... I would then increase the strength of the water sources by that much uh, before the next cycle started. So it was basically just completely, constantly increasing chaos water levels. And uh, we we found some limitations to the way the game was coded, to how much water can go through a, a single space at a, a certain time. We ended up making geysers because the water strength was so high. It was like 40-something at one point, I think. It was fun. We had, we had a very good time. That was live streamed. Uh, the first couple were videos, and then uh, I live streamed because the map broke when update four happened, and then we had so much fun we just decided to make it permanently live streamed. And we had, I don't know, nine or ten of those. It was great. Need to have a transport from that airport to buildings requesting the tools. See, I thought we'd done that. I have this, uh, I have this drop-off thing here. No, I, I need to know if I go to uh, truck unload stop. Yeah, so the buildings asking for the tools are basically right here. This bus, this truck stop, little drop-off, has all of those in that range. Oh, there's tools here. How do they get tools here? Like what? I don't, I don't know how I fixed it, but I didn't change anything here. Maybe it was just that the uh, the thing wasn't uh, connected to the cargo terminal. I don't know. I didn't think it worked like that.
Well, I don't remember changing anything, but it seems like it's fixed it. So, uh, I, I mean, that's helpful information either way. So, always appreciate it. So, this is looking good. What else can we get ourselves into? Look, we're back to making money again. We have all these, uh, all these things that are super expensive, hemorrhaging cash, but we're still making money hand over fist. So I think that's fine. This is very full on tools. So I don't know if we're going to have to... Uh, okay, that's crude oil. That probably should not be there. We're going to have to see if this fills up all the way. No, still hasn't filled up all the way. Okay. This is all stuff going on this train on the outside. So I guess we have to wait for that to come back in. So these, I think, are going to Orlando. Not Orlando, they're going to uh, uh, Hartford. Hartford tools. And the tools going to Orlando are going by train. Train, airplane. Okay, so this is working. That's working. Fremont is not getting anything except passengers. I don't think we really want to worry about that. Yeah, McKinney has just been completely summarily ignored. Uh, Memphis looking pretty good. The crude oil continues to be a uh, continues to be a whole thing. Uh, ship wise, I don't know. I don't know that we actually have any uh, any way to really improve this. I don't think we've gotten any new ships. They're very old. We have eight ships cargo. I mean, I can have these big old tugboats because uh, this is not what we had before. I think we had this Votrans or whatever. Virgo, 19 miles per hour. Holds 376. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, let's replace those immediately. Eight of those. I kind of want to uh, kind of want to have a couple more. Let's do ten. And then the other shipping line, we have the Memphis Crude Port. That's not it. Um, that was up here, I thought. Corona, maybe Crude. Yeah, Corona Crude. That is because this is only a small, but they could probably stand to be replaced. Let's do that. Small cargo. Um, oh, wait, no, we can't. This is the same one we were already using. Ferry? No. These are all different ferries. Huh. Alright. Do we want to upgrade the landing to a large, large dock? I think we can. Let's, uh, outside of navigable waters. Okay. Oh, we, we played this game before. Uh, lowering all of this to try and make it more navigable. All right. Somehow I, I don't think this is going to give me the result I want still. Yeah, so I think what I, ended, <coughs> what I had to do was... Um, there we go. Do that. I guess that's uh, that's what that is. So that we already already upgraded this for sure. Okay, so now I can come in. Where's our Corona crude port? That has to go uh, get upgraded. Ah, I forgot. I gotta. I gotta delete the small harbor. Because we have. No, I can't do that. Yeah, that needs to be. Uh, see, I, the thing is, I don't know how it. Uh, I don't know how it did that without it. Uh, I thought it wanted to play nice. Alright, come on. Come on. Turn 90 degrees. There you go. And then that needs to be. Here, that needs to not be there anymore. 
cannot connect all stations, huh? Two. Let's try that. I don't think th there's anything else uh, connecting. We just have those two landings there. Uh, oil supply line is not connected to anything. That works. Okay. Now we can finally come back up here. Uh, Corona crude. I thought I had already... Uh, I'd already fixed this. I guess not. All right. Well, now that's uh, now that's replaced. That should have a lot higher throughput. All right. So this has this has fuel in it. We already knew that was a thing. Um, oh, I, sh I should upgrade the road. That should be... There we go. Huh, that's... It's going through... It's going through this. Okay. Alright, we, we uh, kind of don't want that. That's so weird. Why is that pathing like that? Very strange. Oh, I always read the ch I always read the chat until I don't. Ugh. I'm gonna have to stop soon at some point because it is uh ten thirty. Why did I get a text message? Oh, is this a scam? Let's find out together. Oh, okay, no, that's actually Bank of America. Never mind. <laughs> I get so many spam text messages all the time. It's so stupid. It'll, it'll be for like it'll have someone random person's name attached to it. It'll be some political garbage. It's like I don't I don't like you. Why are you text me? Oh, it's like hello name withheld. It's like that's not me. It's like how did you get my phone number? All right, so this is this is working. That should be uh, hopefully hopefully making more. It's making its way up. Transport's actually substantially higher now. I think we fixed some of this. Uh, if this, okay, if, as soon as I say that, it goes down. But if we can get this leveled up, we're going to be looking really good. Got to widen the river. I mean, we can. I don't think the game really cares. Oh, it actually goes between the navigable uh, bridge supports. That's so cool. Does it do it the other way? I always read your mess messages. Stop that. Yeah, the spam phone calls have gotten so bad, I just don't even use my phone as a phone anymore. It is for going on the internet, going on Discord, or texting people. Like, it is, It's like not even worth it to have the ringer turned on. Because there's always some sort of spam call. Okay, this has only gone down. Why? This is export. No, that's import from the refinery going to the... Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a problem. So what's uh, what's up with this? Oh, these tiny little trucks. Okay, no, 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 no. We're gonna re <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna replace those Cascadias. There you go, big trucks. What is this? Why is this small? Fuel transfer rail. Okay, you get a Cascadia. Okay, what about? Oh wow, look at all this. I want to see how how much the train gets uh, full up on because I think we can we can just add cars for the train. William, I'm not reading that. As long as you keep pulling out the product as fast as it makes, it'll XP up and produce more. So that's what I thought it was doing, but I didn't think it was an issue of pulling the product out because we're definitely doing that. Like this this truck station is, for all intents and purposes, empty of fuel. It 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 has no problem going anywhere. All right, where is the train? Here it is. It has half a load of tools. And it's going to pick up fuel. Same problem that Cannon has. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, it's full. 
So this needs to be edited. Uh, this is about as about as long as it can be. Oh, it does have the HHP-8. We haven't even looked at the train stuff. Okay. P42DC, we talked about that HHP-8. West Rail, West Fleet. That, that just looks like an AM fleet. <laughs> I, I guess they couldn't call it that, but... Uh, the rest of that boxcar, etc. Metro liner, yep. Speed Dance Express. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that must have been because Acela Express is trademarked. Like, <laughs> that's so funny. They called it the Speed Dance Express. That is hilarious. Okay. Is this a higher capacity tank car? 20 versus 18. Yeah, you better believe it. Let's go. Let's do uh, let's do four of those. This box car holds how much now? Eighteen. And this holds twenty. How? Okay, that's that's too long. I guess that's fine. We'll uh, we'll just let that do its own thing. All right, so I guess that means it's also time to come down here and check out these trains, how they're looking. I think it's probably okay. Tell a train to pick up the fuel and move it to another station. You'll make money moving it, and once you find it and stop to use the fuel, you'll make... That seems kind of like gaming the system. Okay, so that has 38 tools. So that's not full up yet. That's fine. So this is going to stop here, pick up a bunch more tools, and keep going. I thought I replaced the, uh, I thought I replaced the tank cars on this. Or did I not? I was almost certain I had. Yeah, I thought I was going to, uh... There we go. I needed those to be larger. Won't produce until there's a demand for it. Okay. Like, it makes sense. It just also kind of doesn't with how much it refuses to uh, produce. There's so much fuel here. Like, it has no problem bringing fuel up here. I just don't have any uh, anywhere to put it. So maybe that's why maybe that's why this is having the problems it is. But this very clearly is not full. So it's just going to send it wherever it's supposed to go. Corona wants fuel, has fuel, but it's not going to grow unless it has, oh uh, yeah, there you go, construction material and goods. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think we're going to get construction material to go there. So this is not, uh, not shipping enough, apparently. But this is not full, so that's fine. Try to teach me about tree law. No, tree law is nuts. Completely insane. Wow, look at all these people waiting at the bus stop. I guess I should probably, uh, probably put some more buses on this. Let's uh, let's replace these. What kind of nice buses do we have? Electric bus holds seventeen. That holds seventeen. That holds nineteen. Okay, we already had the we already had the best bus. So let's um, add two more buses there. We all hate trees. Yeah, let, let me know in a month and uh, month and two days if you still hate trees. It's a numbers game. You need to look how much it's trying to ship where and then compare it to line rates. I hadn't even thought about that. Alright, because this, like, Lakewood is, okay, it needs more. Lakewood actually could use a lot more fuel. Do I have a mechanism to bring fuel all the way down here? I thought I did. Like, that's what this Platform 3 was supposed to be delivering. But that train cannot hold more than 60, uh, 60 fuel at a time. 
So probably what I need to do is have a separate train just for fuel, but then I'm going to have to use signals, and that doesn't sound very fun. Yes, yeah, so this is full. This is full on fuel. So maybe what I need to do is extend the platform here. Okay, cargo platform. Not going to not going to let me get away with this, huh? All right. So here's what here's what we do. Here's what we do. We pause the game. And then we make this platform obscenely large. Like double the length of this platform. And then we just uh, build the tracks appropriately. And that actually lo looks kind of cool. Bring that in like so. Well, to a certain extent. But we have a nice long platform for this train to unload all of the uh, fuel. But this platform doesn't have to be long. I don't know that it's going to care. Let's uh, let's find this train. Where is it at? Let's uh, observe how it interacts with the environment. How do I... Uh, there we go. Because I'm pretty sure if the boxcars are at the front of the train, and that's the only stuff that the platform can reach, it's only going to unload those anyway. But that's fine, because that's what we want. Yeah, the signals, that's not something I want to mess with right now. Honestly. So what I'm going to do... Okay, so that's eight of these. Oh, it's going to want another engine. Okay. Now the P42DC. The P42DC is a passenger locomotive. But there's no rule that says you can't use it on a freight train. That being said... I think we're going to uh, just leave this as it is. We can put this on the other end. I think it's not going to care. Puller pusher, etc. That should be fine. $21 million. And that is... We actually had a little bit of extra room. But I want to try to move a lot more fuel through here. Oh, neat. It didn't reverse it. Oh, because that could actually be a problem. We'll, uh, we'll see how this... Uh, we'll see how this works. Okay, well, actually, no. If, if the train never reverses and it has the engine on the back, then when it stops here... Okay, it could still load. All right, so I was worried about all this for nothing. How wild is it that GE makes light bulbs and also locomotives? Yeah. General Electric is incredibly diversified. Also, uh, aircraft engines. I think most of the household appliances got sold off to a Chinese company about... 10, 15 years ago. I couldn't tell you which one it is. Uh, but, yeah, not, this, not the same as it used to be. Can a dog be a train conductor? There's no rule that says the dog can't be a train conductor. Any cab can access when the train connects. Okay. Ball makes mason jars and has military contracts with the U.S. You better believe it. We got a bunch in our kitchen. Mason jars, not military contracts. All right, so this is actually... Uh, looks like it's going pretty well. That is good to know. I think we can leave that alone. It's carrying 160... Yeah, 160 uh, fuel. So that's more than double what we had before. Hopefully that helps Lakewood a little bit. Yeah, I do not have any NDAs with any parties. Active, at least. Load those tools up. Let's go. Hey, wrenching. What's up? We're playing some Transport Fever 2. Cool $834 million in the bank. Yeah, so hopefully having this much fuel offloaded here is not going to clog things up. 
Yeah, you can't even see it. It's just off to the side here. But we want to make sure Lakewood is... Yeah, okay, that's going way up. That has a supply uh, demand. <laughs> supply demand. Stupid. 163 is the big number. We'll just say that. And we can transport 160 a time uh, with the train. So that's fine. The bricks should should be going up now that this is uh, the way it is here. Now the... Uh, wait, why is... Okay, tools drop off has all this oh we gotta we gotta replace all these vehicles man uh this tiny truck no 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 we gotta have something that can carry all sorts of garbage the the, the urban e truck there we go uh what uh, capacity is 20 oh i can't even get the man ones anymore all right that's fine we'll just clone those then these three the man tankers says it can do all cargo so we might as well just to get those. So now we got nine. We got nine vehicles on this route. See you, barbecue. Good luck and have fun. Yeah, that still is completely empty. So I think, yeah, part of the reason we have a problem here is because these uh, trucks have not been adequately distributing stuff. So we didn't really have enough of them. Oh, this is old. Lakewood Food Supply. Is that is that one of those old beer builts? Yeah, we gotta we gotta fix these. Oh, this this one with the uh, the fuel. I think did we did we finally empty this out? No, it's still here. Why? Why is there still? Oh, Corona Corona fuel supply food supply. Oh, uh, because that doesn't have a. Uh, that doesn't have a tanker truck, so we'll do, uh, we'll do, oh, I didn't want to do both of those. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to do the, uh, I guess I could just have done the tarp truck. That's fine. Uh, what do I do? Liquid food supply. Yeah, we need to replace these with the tarp trucks. Then probably could clone those as well. We're going to have a ton of trucks coming in and out of this place. Uh, Corona food supply. Just duplicate that guy. And uh, who else is getting? Is it Memphis is getting food from this? Yeah, let's um, let's replace those immediately. Yeah, the three fifty nine. That's the old old one. As long as we have this set up correctly on Memphis food supply, to Aha, uh -huh. Corona Halt, do not load. I guess we could load the fuel, but we don't want it to. Uh... Good, that's exactly what we wanted. That works. And this is fine, this little uh, hopper truck, because that's just bringing the raw food. Making some soylent? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, we got a lot, got a lot, a lot, a lot going on here. I'm going to have to move... Uh... Hello? Can I can I not click this? There we go. I want to have room for enough of these. And I think I want to do street access here. Maybe we'll try that. Then I want to because I want to try connecting this. Uh, this side. Too much slope. How much? Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, all right. I, I see you there. That's uh, that's quite a bit of slope. That's uh, not ideal. We'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, yeah, there you go. Send your truck up that thing. So that will maybe, maybe unstick some stuff. All right, so who is going to what platform? I guess it's not going to tell us. we got to look at our lines. So we have Memphis Food Supply probably should be going to... Let's have that go to one. Uh, Corona Food Supply is already at three. So I guess two... It's probably better. 
I want to try and have as little overlap as possible on this. I don't know if I actually made it better or made it worse, but uh, we changed something. Yeah, getting low gear. Yeah, yeah, you better believe it. That that's nightmare fuel right there as a trucker have to have to low <laughs> to have to do that. No, William, I'm not reading that. Uh, what am I gonna do with you two? Honestly. All right, so that's working. Kind of. I don't think we have any uh, any more gripes here. Yeah, 627 residents. The town's uh, town's booming, folks. Looking good. Okay, shipment can still be a little higher, but we're using uh, we're using everything they're putting out. We're just not they're just not putting out enough for us to have to send somewhere else. Hartford has not really grown that much because we haven't been supplying most of its needs. Okay, what is... All right, now what's all this? How much do we have? We have 33 waiting here. Something tells me this is not going to refill before the train comes back. But we'll see, I suppose. I did want to do passenger trains. I always thought that was fun. But um, I don't really know between where and where we would want to do them. Uh, McKinney people will want to go to Memphis, I guess, because there's just the... Uh, the road connecting here. Where do Memphis people want to go? McKinney. Costa Mesa. Corona. Okay. But they can they can still get to uh, most of this. Costa Mesa people want to go to Memphis. Kind of. One person wants to go to Lakewood. In Corona. So I'll tell you what. Um, do we want to... Do we want to mess with high-speed rail? Well, of course the answer is going to be yes. Because high-speed rail is cool. And expensive. But um, if we do... Do one of these guys right here, maybe. We're going to have to have a... Uh, look at all these things want goods and services. Now let's, um, let's just put this right here. Remember what raises and lowers... Uh, I do not remember what raises and lowers buildings. I guess it probably doesn't matter. But this it does have to be directly attached. Let's take a look. Is that as straight as... No, it is not. Now that looks... straight-ish. Maybe not quite. Anyway, if I did that... Wow, this is literally the first passenger train station I built in the game. Free game. Wild. Uh, Platform-wise. Passenger platforms only. Alright, so I'll tell you what I'll do. So I'll just do the outside like this. And then I will... Uh... Oh, there's a lot of these little passenger buildings. I'm going to put tracks in between them. Alright, tracks. High speed tracks with catenary. Then get rid of that. There we go. That's got to be platform for passengers. I do not know how long the um, how long the passenger trains are for the high speed rail stuff. I guess we'll have to figure it out. There's a is there a benefit to expanding the roads of the towns themselves? Um, traffic, 
pretty much. So I guess... I guess I should just check and see how long the trains are. I'm going to have to have a train depot here anyway. For right now, I guess I will do that. Now, is it going to tell me... Passenger. Multi-units. Okay, it counts this as a multi-unit. It's not really... It's, it's a train set. Whatever. Um... But the Avelia Liberty is how long? How long? 186 miles an hour. Speed Dance Express. That's so funny. It has a weight, 825 tons. Huh. Okay. 0 0.1 miles. Total length of the train is 0 0.1 miles. Can you, uh... No, it's it's one set. Okay. And it's not going to let me... Oh, there's no way you'd do this in real life. You can't... You absolutely cannot do that. That's fine. Huh. Okay. So 0 0.1 miles. Let's see, that's... Well, they're not all the same length. I know that. And if they modeled it correctly, you have a uh, eight. You have no. You have nine. You have nine cars in between, and then two power cars at the end. So I guess that's. Uh, well, you know what? There's no rule that says it can't be a certain length. So we'll uh, we'll just go ahead, make that six. And then just extend our uh, our track appropriately. That'll just go pretty much straight up. We can go uh, tunnels through the mountains because high speed likes that. And we can have a station in Memphis. Then and then we can blow their minds here and have a station in McKinney. So let's uh, let's do that passenger station here. The road conditions very bad. Yeah, we'll cry about it. We <laughs> got other stuff to do. I'm trying to make trains. Okay, so if we have this at the very end of the road. How long was the uh, platform here? That's four. I think... The, did I say... I already forgot. Already forgot how long the platform was. That looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, we'll make that work. We can... You know, we can also just increase the length later. But I th think... I think that's going to be fine. Although the little uh, the little awning... Oh, cool. I can do that. I can build those. Underpasses? Oh, look at this. Oh, that's cool. That... Oh, that's going to be super awesome. Look, look at all that. We're having so much fun with this. Well, I am. I don't know if you are. Don't talk to me while I'm making trains, you fools. <laughs> yep, pretty much. One mile train, that would just be... Uh, that would just be regular old uh, American freight rail. Mile long train. I am having fun. I love trains. Yeah, 186 miles an hour is the fastest it's going to let you go in this game because that's as fast as the Avelia Liberty is going to let you go. But the Chinese high-speed rail can go, well, in kilometers per hour, it can go, like, I don't know, 350 or 360 or something. I don't know how that translates, but... Okay, all right, I got a dog on the game. Class 7 high-speed rail track is not allowed to have grade crossings. It is strictly disallowed in the FRA standards. So that is not going to fly. We're going to have to... Uh, have to make some corrections there. But I will go ahead and just start building this anyway here. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have, <laughs> we're gonna have to have a grade crossing, not a grade crossing. Come on. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make a slope. 
Because that's how... If, if we were just keeping that, like... Oh, there's a billion. Whoever was asking an hour ago. This could actually go underneath into the tunnel. Um, oh, that's super low. I didn't want to go that low. Tunnel entrance here. But I can, I think. Yeah, so that's, that's fine. We'll just have the uh, the train hidden underneath all of our uh, our tunnel nonsense here. So that's going to be substantially lower. Not like that. What if I did here? That would be too close. Okay, so that would come out of the out of the ground where here. Okay, and then come up here. I mean, I see. I just don't even know if that's level or not. I don't. I don't have any way of knowing. It's not going to tell me. Shanghai Airport Maglev goes 431 kilometers per hour. That is a fast train. I, I wish I had some sort of a uh, some sort of another uh, incline option than this, but so I guess what we'll do is we'll just have this uh, just have this come up here. There we go. Just like that, and then yeah, because this is going this is going up still. I just need this to not cross the road as level crossing. I just, I just, no, no, stop it. Yeah, I just need this to have a little bit of elevation to it. But that is, eh, it's a little unrealistic. I guess we shouldn't care. So if I were to do here, Keep this curve nice and straight. Come on. Come on. I guess we can uh we can live with that. Okay, now th this is how I know this is garbage. Is because high speed rail viaduct is not limited to fifty six miles per hour. That is absolutely completely false. So I'll tell you what we do. Is this even an important road? Probably not. What we do instead, demolish the road. And we just rebuild it after we have the train go. That's probably what I should have done this whole time. Now to come through here, that left side. We have another forbidden grade crossing. That's not going to work. But this seems mostly fine grade wise. Yeah, we'll do that and then I will just. Uh, the grade crossing. Oh, that kills me. Let's build that and then. All we have to do is have the road go over the tracks. We have to remember to do that here, too. Well, we don't have to. It's just that people would probably prefer to still have their roads. All right, come on. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Straight road. Okay, let's do that. And then, then I can make a, uh, I can make a little, uh, road overpass here. I don't know if it's going to uh, let me get away with this or not, but we're going to... It really wants to do that grade crossing super bad. All right. So I'll tell you what. Let's... Uh... Let's see. Is that straight? No. Tunnel it is. For no reason other than to just not have to worry about the train. So we'll do that. Then we'll connect this here. And it is... It's not beautiful, but it works. And sometimes that's enough. And that is just really ugly looking, but we're going to have another track here, so that's fine. 
Okay. Upgrade road. Oh, wow. This is miserably bad quality road. So we probably should have done that anyway. Yeah, there we go. I knew that bit was already done. This is already already got a tunnel underneath the road here. That's fine. All right, so I got one track there. And now all I have to do is have this just follow it. And we'll come back and fix that other road in a minute. Don't let me forget. All right, so that's going to tunnel as well. That's fine. Just make sure this can connect. Yep. Very expensive high speed track, this. Alright, so now what I gotta do come in here and configure the platforms. Uh, first, I have to put another track in high speed with catenary. That works. Then the passenger platform on the other side. And then we're going to have to have a uh, uh, passenger underpass. Just do one on both ends. That's nice. Special platform. No. Just do regular. Like this. Oh, and I can actually put that on top of the uh, underpass. Nice. Cool, that looks pretty good. And we go all the way back over here. And we can do the same thing to this station. Probably don't need to have the passenger underpass on this specific one, but we'll put it there anyway. Cool. So, that's working. Let's do, because I think I'm going to be able to figure this out. Um, okay. Ah, too much curvature. Boo. All right, well, that means that I don't want to put that there. All right, we'll just have two, we'll, we'll just have two lines on opposite sides just go up and down the whole time. Never get special platforms. You want, you want special platform? You want special platform? Um, we're going to be able to, yes. Tell you what, how about the end ones? We do that. Is that special? You need to play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? I am planning on it. That sounds like a blast on stream. No, it's the wrong station. Let's fix this. No, 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 no. I don't want that station. I want this one. I guess I still had that pinned. All right. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty snazzy. Now we got to cross the river, and we have to have a uh, station in McKinney. So let's do, get out of here. Let's do a terminus station here. That's the only town up here. Um, Where do we, this is a tiny town. I guess uh, high speed rails, if it's going to be mostly tunnel, then that would be fine here. It doesn't have to be 186 miles per hour the entire way. Uh, we could have it come out this side. Might be a kind of suspect road layout here. Uh, let's put this uh, right here. I believe that is correct. There we go. Now we got to go back in here and edit this. If I'm boring you to death, please let me know and I will uh, go and do other stuff. But I think this is fun, personally. Because I'm an insufferable train nut. Five, six of these. Let's not forget to put these on the end, along with these. Then here. Let 
Then we can come in the inside and get rid of all this. So we have to replace with high speed rail. All right. High speed tracks with catenary. All right, that should be good. Uh, passenger building, we don't really care. Large passenger building, I guess I could have, uh, I guess I could have uh, maybe done this a little bit nicer, but if we want to upgrade later, we can. Large main building, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay, of course there's a collision. I gotta remove the road. We'll add the road back. Configure large main building. There we go. Train station. Thanks for telling me what the building was. I never would have uh, remembered without your help. All right. Medium street. All right. That works. Just put that back in like that. Dead ends. Oh, look, they got like tile on the floor. That's nice. Very cool. All right, now we have to build the tracks. Which I guess, oh, are we even using this road? Probably not. That has to go all the way over to here. So if just for the, oh, this lag, just for the purposes of analyzing how the game's doing this. That, I think, is tall enough for the barges to go underneath. But, but it's going to force that to be the 56 mile per hour thing. I don't think we want that. Cable, oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, cement bridge, boring. Iron bridge, less boring. But uh, that is, I think, gonna be the only way we get this to be a uh, high speed accessible. All right, so if that goes there, this will be a cut through tunnel, okay. Uh, still in a tunnel until you get to here and then it comes out for a tiny bit, then another tunnel and then it comes out and then this is all viaduct, cement viaduct. Yep, that's what we want. High speed, grade crossing, stop being stupid. But um, I guess that works. Slow down to 56 on the plat bridge, immediately speed back up to 180, and then screech into the platform. Sounds about right. So we'll uh, we'll just let that be what it needs to be. Come back and do the exact same thing, get this hooked up. Bridge pillar collision. Oh, that's because we have different types of bridges. Oh, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that. Okay, or is it just talking about this one? It's probably talking about this one. No, it still doesn't like that. What's what gives? Don't tell me I can't double track the bridge because this is uh, in theory exactly what that's supposed to be. All right. Um. Okay, let's try this. Let's try one bit at a time because I knew it was gonna. I knew it was gonna actually let me do this. Here we go. Okay. That works. I think it is really funny that it's just going to come out of the tunnel right here for this, like, tiny bit. We'll have to uh, sit here and then just watch it go zoom, really fast. All right, where's the end of this? There we go. And there we go. 186 the whole way through. And then this gets removed. Nobody's using this road anyway because literally nothing on this is connected to anything that we are ever ever, ever using. Yeah, this entire thing is actually completely disused. I guess it does technically connect to Orlando. Yeah, let me know how the uh, the whole fresh air at uh, 186 miles per hour thing goes. Must blind the passengers by suddenly coming into the light. Yes. That is the way it goes. Alright, so we have uh, we have two parallel high-speed lines. 
we probably should have a crossover. I don't know if it's going to play nice here or not. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't want to do it because of the curvature. So I don't think there's I don't think there's anywhere in the high speed world that I could actually even do that. So now what we get to do is we get to make a line from a kinney. I guess is it gonna let us pick our platform, platform one, platform two. Which one is which? Uh, okay, we'll figure it out. And then we'll come here to Memphis. And then, oh, I forgot it's a tunnel. It didn't just disappear. All right, so Costa Mesa. Platform one here, one here, and two here. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. So that's that line on the left. Oh, okay, it's because that's how I uh, that's how I had it built. That's not uh, not exactly great. All right, we'll call this high speed rail. Uh, sure, McKinney to Costa Mesa. And then I will just have to make a new one on platform one, come all the way down here. Platform two, there we go. All the way down here. This is a longer, uh, longer deal. But that needs to go on the other. No. Why is that on that track? That does not need to be like that. One, two, and two. No, no, you're not gonna. Come on, man. Not combinable. Come on. There's no way. Did I just. Because you saw it was trying to go the other way. Okay, it's in track two in Memphis. Oh. Yeah, uh, that's on me. Being stupid. Problem solved. There we go. Now it's connected. Perfecto. Now we just have to connect the actual rail here. Oh, the other problem. The other problem is going to be uh, getting the uh, getting the trains to go on both tracks. I guess we're going to have to just do it that way. Okay. Finally. We'll buy two of these. All right, so that's going to go on... Wait, I didn't name the other line yet. Uh, Costa Mesa McKinney 2. All right, this one goes on Costa Mesa 1. And we'll see the train come out. See where it decides to go first. That is a long train. All right, hold on. You know what we have to do. Gotta ride the train. Stupid horn. We haven't we haven't even reached full speed. Although yeah, I guess it is counting that as high speed at 120 kilometers an hour. That's not high speed. So, oh, this isn't even going to get to maximum speed by the, the next station. That's that's bad. Is this actually long enough? Wait, why is it? Oh, it's turning back around to go back to... Uh... I guess that's fine. It does take time for the train to go fast. But it will work. This is a tall mountain here. We should level it so the planes can get through it. So that is going to be all the way down to here. We have to send this to the second line. I don't know if they're going to reach each other at the same time or not, but we'll uh, we'll find out. 
So the platform basically is the perfect length. That's good to know. Oh, I didn't want them to all I didn't want them both to go at the exact same time. That's not ideal. That's very not ideal. It's actually kind of funny because they're going different speeds. Alright, where's the uh where's the tiny tunnel? It's over here? Or is it not? There it is. Are we even going to see them come through this way? Or they already come through this way? I think they might have already come through this way. Oh, you can see through the tunnels. Nice. Oh, here he is. No. Where's the other one? Or did it give up and turn around? Okay, that one's in McKinney already. So as long as the... Oh, someone's actually on it. Nice. So there that goes. We should see them pass roughly in the middle if I did this correctly. I don't know that I did. Yeah, the other train's not in Memphis yet. So where is it? Because we haven't seen it pass us. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. There it is. Okay, they're going to pass in that tunnel. I guess that's fine. It is funny just how slow uh, it is at accelerating. Tunnel could make for a nice little clip. Yes, it absolutely could. You can see the chairs on the inside of the uh, on the inside of the train there. All right, so um, I guess we can be kind of satisfied with that. Let's build infrastructure so they're actually going to want to take the train. Got to have buses to get uh, them to the stations after all. So that can go. Actually, I can just attach it there. Yeah, okay. We'll put that there. We'll put this, uh, I guess, here. That can go there. This can go here. We'll put this here. Let's do a uh, new line. Call this the Costa Mesa Circulator. All right, and that's going to need some buses. E Sitaro. Why not? All in on the electric vehicles, sure. Buses are actually a perfect application for electric vehicles. In most cases. I wish the U.S. had good public transit. I would do unholy things for good public transit in the U.S. A man can dream. 11.30 p.m. time for me to go and get something that resembles sleep for the next four hours. Hey, get, get more sleep, man. Well, thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Always good to see you. Yeah, we're going to wrap up here in a little bit, too. School district just got electric buses. Yeah, I don't think uh, where I live, I don't think that would work because it, we're very, very, very rural. But uh, if you're in even a slightly suburbanized area, electric just makes perfect sense for school buses. Because think about it. They drive for, what, two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, and then they just sit. Plenty of time to charge. They never have to go fast. They never have to do crazy acceleration, this or that. Well, I'm mean, electric's actually better for that, but large vehicles consumes a lot more energy to get them going faster, quicker. But you can plug it into the school. Driver takes it home at night or to the bus barn or whatever. Plug it in. You're good to go. No problems. Long distance trucking. Electric is not the answer to that yet. Because you, you'd have to be able to swap out the entire battery packs all at the same time. That's, that's an insane amount of waste have all that but then then the uh the rebuttal to that is always okay we'll just have electric trains that can move as much stuff as 200 trucks at one time all right let's see oh see this is such a nice view look at this 
Look at this. You can see like the the different like wood paneling and stuff on the. Uh... Wow, I'm impressed. Oh, and it even says Costa Mesa. And look at this. This is so cool looking. What a great game. That looks really, really nice. Now we just have to wait for the train to show up. It really is quite lovely. So now, so that's that's passenger only. But I'm very interested to see what this does to induce demand. So people want to go to McKinney and they want to go to Memphis. Oh, that is Memphis. Never mind. I thought I clicked on the other one. Uh, Corona. Uh, did we make a bus route? No, we did not. So maybe that would be a good opportunity for a passenger ferry because we have this dock here. I don't know. We should put solar panels on buses. I mean, in theory, that's a good idea, but I, I think the capacity for photovoltaics is not quite there to produce power, enough power from that technology to power the vehicle in real time. Like long-term charging while parked, yeah, probably sure. But it, it just, it consumes so much energy when the motors are running. I don't think it works. All right, so we have our we have our airplanes flying around. We got high speed rail over there in between two, I mean three tiny little towns. We got our uh, our big old trains here taking the fuel everywhere, airplanes, etc. I think we've gotten a lot of good stuff done. Lakewood continues to grow. Food supply still isn't fantastic, but we're uh, we're getting there. The planes are... Oh, yeah, this definitely has started to grow back in. But they're not hitting the trees. Oh, 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 it did a go-around. I didn't even know they could do that. Oh, this game is awesome. But we uh, we need to build a second runway. <laughs> we need to... Uh, we need to... We need to build a second runway. Did they, did they dynamically add the tire marks? It feels like they did. Okay, that's the other taxiway on that side. That's that's fine. So now we can actually have multiple planes land at once. Yeah, see, second runway. You never believe me the first time. Look, we're making it work. We're making it work. I didn't expect the plane to actually do the whole takeoff uh, go around power and just like me all the way around that that's cool oh but I bet I have to uh... yeah I've got to add the ah uh, the road <laughs> the road replacement was in the way they can take off from this one okay just wonder if they'll just default to take off from this other runway Well, if that's the case, then this should be the takeoff runway, and this should be the departure, or the arrival runway. In theory, you don't want them crossing the path of a landing plane. Yeah, see, that's the other thing about uh, switching to electric vehicles, is all you're doing is you're moving the pollution somewhere else. Unless the power generation is also clean energy. But that's a four-letter word in this country, at least, so I don't expect to see any progress on that in my lifetime. Yeah, if, if the power that is being produced to run the electric vehicle is still coal or natural gas, well, natural gas is substantially cleaner than coal is, but it, you, all you're doing is you're, you're reducing or, I guess, eliminating tailpipe emissions, but you still have to make that energy somewhere. If it's generated with solar panels or wind or nuclear or something that doesn't produce insane amounts of pollution, then okay, that makes sense. But I think a lot of it is just posturing and people trying to be opportunists at this point. If you put the lights on the opposite side, well, you can do that, but generally speaking, uh, airports don't do takeoff from multiple directions at the same time. Did you see that? That guy almost, almost went all the way in. 
All right, let's um, let's pause this. Connect these. I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to connect that right there. I have to have room to put in the other uh, the other set of lights. There we go. That's okay. So that was a a function of having the landing stuff because that's when the, the planes touch down. They just destroy the tires on the runway right there. Noise pollution, yeah. Uh, but a lot of the noise generated from vehicle traffic is actually tires on pavement and not necessarily engines. And that's also the source of most of the microplastics that uh, people are finding in, like, blood and stuff is from car tires. Which, if you switch to electric vehicles, does not eliminate the use of tires. And in fact, because the vehicles are heavier, you're putting out more of that kind of pollution and getting all sorts of toxic garbage in the air. But now that's... Uh that's working just fine, but now we have to go and check out Orlando and see how this is looking. Because if they're, uh... yeah, see, this guy's going to come in for a landing and then immediately have to go around. Yeah, oh no, the mountain's here. <laughs> All right. Second runway. Landing into the mountain. Oh yeah, no, it's it's all of it's all of it's a problem, one hundred percent. But it certainly isn't helping to to have so much uh, so much car tire dust everywhere. Hydroelectric is a great, awesome, super clean source of energy, if you can support it. In a lot of a lot of parts of the U.S., you can't, which is unfortunate. Let's just uh, very carefully smooth this out a touch. I guess that's fine. Yeah, that was a wild headline to see uh, that we finally banned asbestos. It's like, are you serious? Like, how how is that just now being banned? And then, of course, somebody replied to that, said, oh, government overreach. Like, no, that's literally, it causes cancer. You want it to be banned. I don't care what your political beliefs are. You should want that to be banned. There's literally, literally nothing bad that can come from banning that except, oh no, the people that make the cancer-causing substance can't make the cancer-causing... Stop it. Don't use asbestos. It's so bad for you. So I think we've kind of unclogged our air traffic kind of deal. How many runways can I add? Can I just keep adding more runways? It doesn't seem to want to let me add more than a... Yeah, because it wants this to be a taxiway instead of a runway. I didn't know it was still legal either. Because that's what I, I had always thought, that it was banned in the 80s. Because people stopped using it for uh, a bunch of building applications. And there's this whole industry around asbestos remediation and everything. And then I see this headline today and it says, asbestos is finally banned. And I'm just sitting there staring at my computer like, there's no way. Under what circumstances was it still used? I believe in certain industrial applications uh, for certain types of uh, like insulation and different things that you would never actually have to expose to the outside. Because that's really the only time it's dangerous is when it, the fibers are disturbed and they, they get in the air and then you can inhale them and then it attacks your lungs and you get the whole mesothelioma thing. But in, if they're not disturbed, they're fine. So you have your, your really old buildings. That is such a dangerous landing. Just go right across that guy. But if you have your um, your old buildings with the asbestos tile, usually, uh, like, I don't know, 8 by 8 inches or some other quote-unquote non-standard size uh, pipe insulation different types of other insulation tiles inside of walls. If you don't disturb it, it's not going to hurt you. But at some point, you have to disturb it if you do renovations or whatever, and then that's, that's what the problem becomes. Brake pads, yes. That was a thing for a long time. There's actually a brand of brake pads 
uh, Ray Bestos or whatever, I think is what it was called. Because asbestos is a really, really great material for conducting or dissipating heat, which is why it was used for insulation and brake pads and all that other stuff. But what do brake pads do? They You grind on it with the brake calipers and the wheels and all that, and then it, it has dust go in the air. You don't want asbestos dust going all over the place. I don't know, maybe you do if you're a super villain, or I don't know, but I personally would not want that. Anyway, high speed rail, are they high speed railing over here? We see the trains come out yet. No. Yeah, if you if you took like a little bit of effort to try and get the uh the angles right, you could make a really nice uh I wish I had like more dynamic control of how this was set up. But I don't. Yeah, at this point, I've more or less just kind of accepted that at some point I'm going to die from some sort of horrible industrial poisoning from something that we just come in contact with every day. That's the way it goes. Yeah, lead and plastic. Like, think, think about it. People got really mad when they banned leaded paint and leaded gasoline. Like, do you understand how bad that is for you? And it, it, like, alters your brain chemistry, and it actively reduces your mental capacity and makes you violent. Like why do you, what, like you you can look at the statistics for different types of violent crime in the years after they started banning lead paint and stopped putting lead in gasolines and it is just a like a super sharp drop off. But people don't want to pay attention to stuff. They just think, "Oh, you can't ban that. It's bad. It's bad to ban things like do you want to die? Do you want to have severe permanent lifelong brain damage?" For you or your children? I didn't think so. Well, we got this done. McKinney is not going to grow because we don't have it supplied with construction material or goods. I wonder. How stupid would it be if I could get... Uh, are there any high-speed cargo wagons? No, 99 miles per hour. Okay. That would have been really funny if we could just have a high-speed cargo train. Oh, yeah, the burn pits. Yeah, I've heard a bunch of bad stuff about that. Good good luck. Sincerely. Nightmare stories. Everyone I know who's been in the military has had some sort of story about stuff like that. Callahan Auto Parts. <laughs> what a great movie. Disconnected, what about the military? Talking about um, managing burn pits and uh, toxic stuff. I guess I don't need to go into too much detail about who I know and who's done what and gone where, but uh, suffice to say, the things I have heard are concerning about exposure to toxic substances. Yeah, hopefully the uh, hopefully the VA is able to take care of you. I've I've heard some people have very very bad opinions about it. Some people have had good opinions about it. But I uh, would not wish that kind of stuff on anybody. It is a horrible horrible thing to deal with. All right, I needed to put that uh, other building back in. Put the street back in. Not a country road. We want the medium regular street straight road remove the one building unless I can get this to go straight like that I guess it's probably fine there we go that's all connected and then let's check out in Memphis uh, station building we should replace that as well let's just do that right quick then I think we're going to have to, uh, wait, hold on. It's not going to let me, uh, there we go. I just want that large side building. Get this hooked up. I 
want this to line up and it's so close. So close. So close. We will we'll live with that. I think that's going to be fine. All right, so let's check our lines here, our high-speed rail. Is it going to tell me how many people are on this thing? I guess not. Uh, line statistics, that's what I wanted. Okay. Not too many people riding, but eventually that will go up uh, pretty, pretty quickly. Okay, the bus lines are getting a little bit of use. Air travel is the popular one. 114 out of 200 currently. Yeah, we're looking uh, looking good. The tool drop off, the the urban e truck is not uh, not doing too hot. But look at all this capacity we have on the Corona crude. All that stuff every five minutes. Yikes. Did that did that go through the station without stopping? I feel like it's not supposed to do that. Yeah, they're supposed to stop there. I guess we'll see when it comes back. Oh, you know what? So I ha it goes McKinney to Memphis to Costa Mesa and then back to McKinney. It doesn't stop in Memphis again. So guess what? No, 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 you stupid idiot. No. Click. There we go. That's what we want. That's why. That's why we can't have nice things. It doesn't stop every time in the middle. Yeah, it's um a hard life to be involved. Not not every aspect of the military, but Especially if you are not behind a desk in the Air Force, maybe. Very, very hard. Very, very hard on your body and all sorts of super dangerous stuff you get exposed to. But then again, I heard stuff from my friends in the Air Force, too, so who knows. There's a CSI episode where a guy died of lead poisoning because an imported chocolate was grown in an area that still uses leaded gas. And it seeped into the cocoa plants. I feel like that's probably not that plausible unless he's eating a ton of it. But it makes a good story. All right. So I think this is probably about as good as a spot as I need to stop for the night. It is almost midnight. I got a couple other things I need to take care of. I got all sorts of all sorts of stuff I gotta do. But I really appreciate you guys hanging out, having a nice time, playing some transport fever two, and enjoying each other's company. So we will continue this. Uh I don't know if the next stream will be hold on, what's what's this backup of farm stuff over here? Are we that are we that far behind on stuff? I guess it's eh, probably alright. But uh, we'll take a look. We'll see what happens. And uh, Saturday I am planning on streaming. I don't know if it's going to be this or Satisfactory because we do have to get to Satisfactory again at some point. But uh, we'll get it figured out. Got uh, tomorrow coming uh, United Penguin Kingdom. That's going to go up for Beard Boosters in approximately two minutes as soon as I end the stream. And then, of course, Wednesday we have Prison Architect. Thursday, Iron Teeth. And then... Uh, possibly another Penguin Kingdom on Friday. I don't know. It could depend on the response to tomorrow's video. Uh, but yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye, friends.